Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the AAA meeting. Triple A meeting. I am your host, Sinatra says, as usual, with me is my co-host, Drunken Uncle. Mm, ahoy, ahoy. Oh, what's going on, man? How you doing? Uh, I, I need, I need, uh, check your phone. I check your Discord messages. Oh, okay, right, fair, thank you very Aha. much. I'm all right, thank you, mate. I had a, a shit day yesterday. Uh, my fucking computer's been on at me to do an update for a little while, and you know, it's, you know you, I'm like, I don't want to do an update, mate. I don't want to do an update, because... I'm going to get a blue screen again, and I'm going to end up having to fucking reinstall Windows again. And instead of that, uh, it, my computer just blue screened anyway. Mm. And I went to reinstall Windows, and uh, it just did not recognize my uh, my SSD. You did not recognize so, the SSD in the port? Did not recognize the SSD in the port. Even though it was on, on BIOS, it was a bio, BIOS, BIOS, I don't fucking know. BIOS. You know, when you spam F10 when the fucking computer starts up. It recognized it in that, but it didn't recognize it in Windows as a drive, so uh, I guess it was just fried. So I had to order a new one and uh, reinstall Windows today and, and reinstall fucking everything else. As one so tends gonna- to do. It's been that kind of a day, mate. It's been that kind of a day. Mm. I got fucking all of my OBS is 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 fucking blank, and my fucking stream deck is blank, and oh, the wank of it all, the wank well, of it all. How are you? I'm pretty good. I got something that might make you feel a little better, better cheer you up a little bit. Oh yeah. Uh, you want to play a game? Oh, I mean, it, it it depends what kind of game, really, doesn't it? What what you got in mind? I'm thinking of a game we play relatively often yeah 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 uh, yeah a, a okay, good so, yeah. are, are, are yeah. you getting it yet a nice rousing game yeah where the fuck is polly exactly the game i was yes. thinking yes yeah i mean you'd th- we'd be bloody good at this game by now wouldn't you you think you would think but i mean alas what do we know apparently not much <laughs> nothing at all we know nothing we know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> but how do, how do we play this game? Do we just sit here and moan for a little minute? or? Uh, I mean, we could. Yeah. Or we could look forward to 10 new evolutions that I have what? made. Three for you, three for Polly, and four for me. God. Damn. You know, you spoil us. I try to. <laughs> fucking th- you've been a busy bee you have yeah i well at, at the end of the show wednesday i was talking about i'm like dude this fucking this image just won't let me png it and i dude i spent like an hour trying to fucking png the goddamn thing but you got around it in the end and we're all very oh, proud of you i i and they're cute Look at yours you. are so cute and there is yeah. still a sombrero <laughs> involved Yes! I mean, what's cuter than a little smiling turnip? And then Polly's are cute and angry? Yeah, okay, yeah. Get surly. Get surly and with mine it. mine goes from cute to really fucking cool. Why do you get the cool ones? Look. Well, hang on. So, right. You go cute to cool. Polly goes cute to angry. And I'm angry just Angry cute- and cute. Angry? Well, yeah, I guess, yeah. All right. It's like an otter throwing a tantrum. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just cute. Yes. Just as a constant. Yes. I'm down with that. I mean, I am cute as a button anyway. Oh, you will. And it, it's, it keeps with the current theme I have for you. You will very much enjoy it, sir. The theme? Yeah. If I'm a fucking pineapple. No, not a pineapple. Really? Okay. Right, right. I, I, I like the turnip. But that's, that's all today. I mean, how are people going to evolve me if they well, want to see how cute, just how cute this drunken uncle can get? That would be either the new twenty four fifty donation or $25 or a special for today only. You could get two upgrades for a John Wick. My God. An so evolution 45 special. 45 for two. Yes, we have a brand new evolution special. To celebrate it being Friday. Um, it is Friday. It's, it's the weekend. I mean, I've got to get down on Friday, mate. Got to cook steak on Friday. Well, you would normally have wings on Friday, don't you? Yeah, but it's Lent. Is it still Lent? Uh, two more weeks, yeah. Man, that shit goes on for 
fucking ever. And you gave up, what, enjoying yourself? Uh, not being a reactionary prick, but yeah. But you can still have wings. No meat on Friday. Nah. Yes. Nah. I mean, it's not meat, though, is it? It's poultry. It's, it's meat. It's not me, is it? I mean, you're not really selling this whole religion thing to me right now, to be honest. I don't I don't really do it so much as a religion thing, just more as a traditional thing. But no meat on Fridays. That's the meatiest day of all. For most of the year, yes. But no, I mean, Lent just sounds fucking awful, mate. It's just, it's a miserable time. No, you can't have a steak or wings on a Friday. You've given up being a reactionary prick, which I know is one of your favorite things to do. It is a it it's a it's a hard pastime for me. Yeah. I mean that's just your, your sense of tradition makes you Weak. be miserable. <laughs> Let's stop enjoying things for a month. Eh, it's all right. I'll live. I want to do the do the opposite of Lent. You know what I mean? Like for a month, you just overindulge in the things that you like. Well, that's the literal rest of my life mm. no but i mean you know because even then you'd be like oh i can have wings on friday but instead of that you know you have two lots of wings on friday you know let's <laughs> let's make lent great again let's do well, let's do the atheists lent here where you just you know just piss off vegans i'm trying to be less of a fat bastard <laughs> mm, yeah okay so yeah. Maybe All not right, that. Hank. If this is the hill you want to die on, I'll fight your <laughs> brat. Come on, Bobby boy. Let's rumble. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> One more time. Let me replay that. Again. Yeah, yeah. All right, Hank. If this is the hill you want to die on, I'll fight your brat. Come on, Bobby boy. Let's rumble. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> All right. I like it. I am genuinely impressed with that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, donkey punch for an upgrade. Blade thinks it's cute how you say cute, like totes adorbs. Mm, okay, we'll give Drunkle an upgrade for that one. Yeah, man, I deserve to get cuter. I mean, it, Lent. it is impossible to make you cuter, but I think I have something that oh. is pretty cute. And there it is, look at you. Oh, I love Fridays. I get compliments on Fridays. Look at you. Oh my God, I am so cute. you got to move that. There, yeah, move the bit. I look amazing. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm drinking Corona. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, being a lime and all. I mean, being a lime, it's kind of horrific that, that, you know, there's, like, slices of lime behind me. Have I just, like, killed one of my own? You you might have. Mm, okay. Cute, but also dangerous, like a raccoon. Uh, raccoons are very dangerous, dude. <laughs> yeah, but they're cute as well, but they will fight. And they're assholes. Eh... Well, I guess, yeah. Thieving little bastards, aren't they? No, they are definitely assholes. That wasn't really a up for debate thing. Raccoons I mean, we are don't have fucking raccoons. pieces of shit. We don't have raccoons. Only hug your dog, have, um, not your wife. Be a man. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love the be a man guy. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, boy. So, um, no wings, no, no wings. meat. No meat today. What are, you, what are you having for dinner? Fish? Probably some form of fish or maybe a, a, a pizza. But like a vegetable pizza. Just probably cheese. Just a cheese. Just a regular margarita pizza. You're allowed cheese. You're not yes. allowed meat. Well, that's a saving grace, I suppose. I mean, it's overindulge in cheese now. It's not really a good meat replacement, though, is it, cheese? It, I mean, I don't like cheese. Lent would really screw me over there, because you can't even have cheese. I, I could live for one day. Drunkle is, is adorable. Drunkle is very <laughs> adorable. Viper is cuter. Well, Viper's not even here, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, why, 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 are you, why are you doing that to me, man? Come on, I need the compliment. I'm a man. We don't get compliments. 
you fucking backhanded shit like that, you know. But drunk, but you know, drunk was cute, but Viper's cuter. Just, just, just have that sentence. Just give me the first half. Give me the good bit. Yeah, let let Drunkle have it. Let limes be limes, man. Well, you would think these people might be okay with letting you have something, wouldn't you? It's, um, it's Lent, for God's sake. What, do you <laughs> give up being nice? You should try <laughs> giving up being a prick, you <laughs> prick. Be quiet! Shut up! God damn it. Be quiet! <laughs> I got hit with that one. Why? What did I do? Give up being an asshole for Lent. I fucking love it. <laughs> Would you uh, take that for one second, real quick? I'm trying to do something here. What am I? What am I taking? What am I taking? I just talked to the to to chat for a second. Hey, what have we got out in the chat? We've got Daryl O'Dell is out there. Normally the man who coming in with the Shrunkle stickers as the uh, the stream starts over on Twitch.tv slash Drunkle Plays. Molly and Cammy says Dwunkles are dowable. Well, I mean that's yeah, but th that's the thing. Like mo coming from Molly, you see, and as we've discussed, uh, Molly is a hot girl's name. So coming that from Molly, that is it's quite the compliment. We've, uh, I mean, Donkey Punch is out there. It's a hit line. I've, I've genocided the fruits. <laughs> I love the sound of that. We've got Darren Root as well. How are we doing? Darren Root. Donkey okay, Punch is out there. San Miguel, the dirty bastard as well. Me and San Miguel, we got an agreement. Um, he's got to be I. nice to me six days a week. But on Sundays during Jackbox, he's allowed to be an asshole. He's allowed to be a prick just Sundays. Only hug your dog, not your wife. Be a man. <laughs> he must have millions of those videos. <laughs> I, like one daily. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, are you addressing me? Because your authority is not recognized in Fort Kickass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting these all annotated. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Kara Soldier says, what's up, Drunken Uncle with the orange box? You are still limes, and I'm coming for you. I'm thirsty for beer. Oh, I'm just drinking the corner shop piss at the moment. Do you know, I had to go to the shop earlier, Sim, because I got Steve Braun the uh, the brandy sword, right? He wants fucking five more. Okay, we are all annotated. He wants five more of those motherfuckers? Why? Five of those motherfuckers. Hey, but I've given them out as gifts. Look what I got here. Hey, where are the white women at? That's pretty good. Hey, boy! He wants five of these motherfuckers, so I had to go and fucking order them. And of course, you know, because Steve <coughs> Prawn likes to be a Chinese stereotype sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. So you got, I want five more swords. Okay, all right, Steve, no problem. And he went, hey, Mirrod, 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 get a discount. Yeah. <laughs> He's buying in bulk. <laughs> fucking Chinese, man. <laughs> yeah, five of these things. Like everyone, he, he showed them the sword. He absolutely loved the sword, uh, and he showed it to everyone, and they're all going, "Oh, that's brilliant!" So I think he's like getting them as gifts for him. Oh, maybe. What would that fucking be for me? Uh, hopefully, at the end. Uh, let me run through these real quick. DP said, "Let's yeah. let's do this." All right, thank you. Zed said, "Upgrade the river bat." Okay, one upgrade to the river bat. You ready for cute otter? Look at him. I am. Look how cute you little cute guy just hanging out. <laughs> oh, where's Polly, man? He'd love that. <laughs> That's one of the perks of showing up to the show. You get to see these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not even on time, just showing up at all. Yeah, look I at that. I guess for look. Lent, he gave up punctuality. Oh, it's not C for $2. That. You see, the accent, mate. You know, otherwise it'd be like, if it's if American, it's, it's Nazi. Uh, but, you know, it's not C. It doesn't work. But, hey, he says, quit being a whinger and just get back to defending the galaxy. Bots, bugs, and Epsteins won't kill themselves. Well, I mean, thankfully, now I can because I've got a, I've got a brand new SSD drive, which, I mean, it's was fucking four times bigger than the old one as well, which just fried itself. What do you do with a dead SSD drive? You have to drop it off in a recycle thing. Yeah? Okay. I mean, I only have, like, windows and shit on it. Thankfully, everything else is backed up because, I mean, this wasn't my first barbecue. Um, so you spent hours on Google Images? Nope, none of these are from Google Images. They're all courtesy of you! Uh, M4 said, no, he is a Brit. Brits don't deserve good attention unless it's Monday, then maybe. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fair. Uh, DP, yeah. what dis do? Zero for five. Ahoy, hoy, sin. 
What do you call when a mob boss's child takes over the family business? The dawn of a new era. No. Uh, That's all right. Uh, all right. That's all and right. And M4, I wonder what this is. It, hug your dog, not your wife. Be a man. <laughs> Well, that's three of the new donations and two of the evolutions. We have eight more evolutions and I think like two new donations besides. But that's pretty good work so far, guys. Pretty good work. If you guys like these two, I can't wait for you to see the rest of them. Ugh. I uh, I found myself at a loose end last night, son. Hmm? Well, because I, I had no work and computer. I was like, what, what, what do I do? Yeah, what do I do with my life without a computer? Yeah, I mean, like normally, I do if I can play some games, uh, watch a movie as I'm doing it, you know. Like, but I have to sit in my living room. Sounds horrible. It fucking was. I, I I'm really only sat there if I'm like, you know, if I'm entertaining guests, an elegant dinner party. <laughs> Ooh, Capernia. <laughs> I fucking, and I wanted to watch a new episode of Invincible as well. I had to watch it on my television. Oh, like a fucking peasant. I'm I'm sat there on my sofa, right, like an animal, watching fucking the television oh, with yeah. a drink on a coffee table. Oh, Damn, I almost, feel, is beating. almost feel bad for you. It was weird, man. I need about three pretty. Um, what do you do when you see someone flailing around in the bathtub? Turn the toaster off. <laughs> 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 I'm loving these jokes. <laughs> uh, hey, ass ass hats. That ratio couldn't get past two likes without being fucked up. Two out of five is bullshit. Smash the like mm -hmm. button, or I'll shove your faces in it, fuckers. He will. Steve Dave has I've seen spoken. Him do it. Yeah, I've seen him do it before. Steve Dave has spoken. But yeah, no. You what are you gonna read a book? You fucking. Dark Ages? I've read all my books. I've, uh, I've, I've read Starship Troopers. I've, I've finished The Warriors. I've, uh, I, Invincible is only an hour long as well, so I'm sat there like, do 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 do, you know, twiddling my thumbs. What, 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 what does one do? <laughs> oh my god, are you Batman? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Let me replay that real quick. Oh my god, you Batman! <laughs> it's wrestling and Dragon Ball. Uh, <clears throat> have you two heard about the leaks for Helldivers? Apparently a new mech is coming. A uh, wall cover, a new launcher, a flying bug. Mm. Somebody's about <laughs> to get reported to their democracy officer. Fucking communist bullshit is this? Bugs mm. don't fly. It was in the news on Monday. We've covered it. Apparently, a dirt bike. I don't know about one about an off-road car. The game has been out for two months. Wow. It, it that's good though. I like to see upgrades like that. Like doing shit like that already. Flying bugs so are in. No, it, they it? jump. Bugs don't fly, man. Reporting you to your democracy officer. Man, I'm dialing have... the phone now. It's just little arrows. I. Ha <laughs> It's a, a strat stratagem. I have been <laughs> yeah. driving Miss Miss Sin absolutely insane. She's like, what are you doing? It's getting late. Like, I'm saving democracy, woman. What do you want? Huh? I'm doing this for you, you bitch. <laughs> and she's like, I don't get what is saving democracy. So I had her watch the intro and I was, she's like, oh, but you're on all the bugs planets, right? So I'm like, okay, you're going to the democracy officer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well done, man. I'm, I'm proud of you, you know, like uh, shopping your loved ones like that. You know, it's not an easy thing to do, but I mean, in, in that, you, you save democracy right then and there. You oh, know? sweet liberty. No, it's not easy to do, but sometimes it has to be done. It's got to be done, isn't it? You know, fucking red under the bed. You're living with a commie. Um, uh, fuck, what was I about to say? Oh, well, don't do that. Okay, fine. Oh, uh, trunk comes from countless Bathory. She was a great woman. Trump comes oh, out for Countess Bathory. She was a great woman. Truly tremendous. She was a great woman. Truly tremendous. Great skin. The best skin. I've seen other people with other skin, but I have to say she's the best. I'm not saying theirs are bad, but hers is okay. Thank you, DP. I don't know what, what that's about, but thank you. 
It was just like so softly whispered as well, you know. Are you doing like the 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 tube lips as you're doing it as well? Dude, I I have the squinty eyes, the yeah. hand harmonica, and I'm doing the mood like no, maybe yes. It's a, it sounds a little bit like Ghastly doing Jesse Ventura. Fuck, were you watching the Scribe show last night on Scribe's TEDx? I lo- I don't know if you heard, but I didn't have a working computer last night. Mm. Scribe and I went to like 20 minutes of Jesse Ventura impressions. Did you really? Oh, did, you, you did the uh, the Scribe TED Talk? Yeah, we did the TEDx oh, talk. Oh, that's... That's a great show to be on, man. A great show to watch. Scribe, oh, uh, you know, long, so long-term fun. friend of the show. But, uh, the, gr- but even better to be on. <laughs> the the first girl who we were uh, covering, she had a little bit of a lisp, and she talked like she was on Valium. So she's like, "It's we have 15 spots. I'm like, spots? What is she talking about, spots? Spots are for the governor. <laughs> it devolved into Ventura impressions. <laughs> I would have thought uh, gazpacho soup. Spotch. Spotch. As the governor, I'm strictly worried about the spotch our citizens can park in. (laughs) Sexual Tyrannosaurus. (laughs) These sexual Tyrannosauruses can only park in certain areas. But but then we just ended up talking about people who could do actually good Ventura impressions. But that'd be ghastly. It, it ghastly can, but, uh, hell, let's pull up the video. All right, Hank, if this is the hill you want to die on, I'll fight your brat. Come on, Bobby boy, let's rumble. That's my purse. I don't know you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is so good. That is great. Oh, let me pull this up here. Uh, share the screen to you. Every- Oh, I, oh, yes, spoil me. I, you know, I try my best. Uh, M4 Sherman. Uh, I've seen the flying bugs. They're real and a new threat coming while High Command lies about it. I will not be quiet. This transmission has been terminated by Super Earth. Don't believe the traitor's lies. I've noticed that if you're, th- thank you, M4. And I'll give myself an upgrade for that one. Um, yeah. I've noticed that if there's a bad review, like a, oh, wrong one. Uh, if there's a one star review, on the uh the the You are not good at doing two things at once, are you? <laughs> no, I'm I'm trying to think. If there's a one star walk and chew gum, man. <laughs> well, things are not where they're supposed to be and it's very aggravating. If there's a one star review on the super credit store, uh it'll say deleted investigated for treason. Nice. Is it little shit like that that I appreciate, honestly? Man, the the uh, superstore, thank you. The uh, the subreddit okay, for Helldivers is just an absolute fucking pleasure to read the comments. Oh, Look you're a cute. cute little meatball! Look how cute I am. Oh, you got a little herb next to you as well? Look at the... You're never, you, at... you, you're never gonna drink all that. Look at that. Look how cute. It's He's adorable. So I oh, I'm so happy just to be yeah, here. The the, uh, the subreddit is just an absolute pleasure to read the comments because people are role playing like fuck, and uh, someone made a post just going like I you know I'm I'm foreseeing that the you know the Super Earth's Ministry of Truth will be saying this soon, and it was a video of um, Big Brother from 1984. <laughs> like you know, uh, bugs have always been able to fly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. In light of my current fuck up, it appears I have five evolutions and not four. So we've yeah. got we've got three new ones, which means we each have two more, and then I have two more on top of that. So if you guys want to see that, it is the new twenty four, fifty, twenty five, or two evolutions per John Wick, which I think is a damn my. good deal. That's like ten percent off. Hell yeah, man. That, I mean, that, that's that's money on the table. And I, I, I'm really excited for you guys to see all the ones I got. But th- you want to talk about good Ventura impressions? This guy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. 
I'm <laughs> Jessica the Body Ventura. <laughs> Incredible. I need a haircut. I'm a barber. I'm a hairdresser. A Navy SEAL. <laughs> hey, I want to talk about a lot of this transgender uh, b malarkey in the military. Why? Kumia is fucking hilarious. I know that name. Anthony Kumia. Why do, why do I know that name? Oh, dude, he's been doing this shit for... Ever? 30 years for real jesus yeah, he was uh he was on A xm radio. radio he had no. the show with uh opie and anthony that anthony ah uh, okay okay so I've, I've never watched it but i know <clears throat> of it from you talking yeah dude's been around for a dog's age mm. Hello, yeah, he does a pretty fucking banging impression doesn't he <laughs> You know the hey, only boys. opening. <laughs> Look what I got here. Hey, where are the white women at? Uh oh. Hey, boy. Uh oh. I can't. You find don't know where your white woman is. There we go. Bang. Fastonia coming in with an even one hundred k. Uh, gonna redeem my rain check, and this is for another upgrade to your choice. Well, let's do one to Polly, <coughs> since he was first, and one to Drunkle, since he was second. So, Drunkle, yeah. that one goes. And he's the other new upgrade. Look at you, I get a little feet off the bar. You got new avatars? Oh, I got oh, oh, my. 11 <laughs> new upgrades. We dangling my little turnipy legs. Yeah. <laughs> how happy you are. Man, my eyes, they're so innocent. Mm-hmm. The wide-eyed wonder of an Eastern European seeing a McDonald's for the first time. And one more to Polly. Look how angry. The angry little cute otter. Damn it. Hold yeah, on. <laughs> we've all got drinks now. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course we have our drinks. You think I was going to leave that out? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't. No, no, of course not. You wouldn't do that to us? Surely not. Oh, no. absolutely not. You know, I've only ever listened to one episode of... Uh... Opie and Anthony there, and it was because of you. Conversation we had after comic book curation many moons ago. You said it was the worst firing fallout that ever happened on the internet. You got to go listen to it, and I did. Oh, the when he was bitching about uh, Greg Opie Hughes. Yeah, and everything just kind of went sideways slowly but consistently until the whole thing was just difficult to listen to. <laughs> if you want to if you want to watch something entertaining go uh because i grew up on this shit so i remember all the, like the the real good ones go listen to the great grape argument <laughs> it's so good it's like they start fighting about dan bongino and shit it's so weird but it's fucking hilarious who does the grape the great grape argument it's a uh, anthony and opie oh them okay all right it's fucking hilarious. Like, Anthony's talking about how Opie eats yogurt, like, right in the microphone, and he, like, rattles the plastic spoon in the little cup. It, it's That's worse than ragging a metal spoon on your teeth. Oh, I, that bothers me to an extent that it absolutely should not. Really? I fuck it. I only bring it up because someone... it bugs a friend of mine. I don't even notice it, but it, oh man, oh. He, he could kill someone over it, man. So could I. <laughs> someone taking a fork and they're like eating broccoli and they need to scrape the broccoli off the fork with their teeth. I just want to smack the handle of the fork so it goes through their spine. Oh, man, that's a All bit of right. reaction. Just a little. Just, just a bit. It's, <laughs> you it, really don't like it. I <laughs> fucking do not. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I would rather oh, hear All right, Hank If this is the hill you want to die on I'll fight your brat Come on, Bobby boy Let's rumble That's my purse! I don't know you! <laughs> All right I'm glad you guys like that one I love it, mate That's great uh, M4 Sherman Super Earth would like to apologize for the rogue transmission breaching we are working on a new fix to stop that from happening again. And remember, flying bugs are not real. 
and whoever says else is a traitor and should be reported to the nearest democracy officer. Got it. Mm. Duly noted, M4, thank you very much, and I will take that upgrade for myself. Because I deserve it. You do but, deserve it. You've worked hard. It's Nazi, Lent. thanks for the buck. He says, Polly, Nazi, how's it going? A little bit of a change there between the cute little meatball and that. We are, I'm fucking hell, you're hench, mate. Look at those veins. You, I'm getting worried about you. You're a bicep they, the size of a melon. What size of a turnip? They only get cooler from there. And I, it, they're still, I, I still get cuter. Polly gets you do. surlier. And, that, and you he does. Oh, okay, I yeah. finally saw the angry otter. Look at him. He's, he's delightful in his miftedness. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take him seriously. <laughs> that should be it. the ultimate evolution. Oh, just wait and see, my friend. Just wait and see. I was, I, I genuinely hope. Do I you can, just get cooler and musclier? You'll see. We'll see. We'll get there. <laughs> but I, uh, I, uh, you I'll guys each have one That's more, cool. and I have two, three, three more. Hmm. Mm. Bad time yeah, to take look, a drink of my drink. <laughs> you look like a Navi, Drunkle, now that I can see. I see what you mean about the wide eyed innocence of a foreigner seeing a McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> Self stable oh, food. Cute. Wow. <laughs> I want to eat me. What is the difference between turnips and radishes? Oh, a lot. They yes, look alike. But I just the don't taste want either on my plate, different. but. No, I don't fucking. Who in their right mind goes, I really want a radish right now, you know? My aunt. My aunt will cut up really? and eat a radish whole. Yeah. Why? It's a, it's a garnish. And. Peter Rabbit's favorite food, so he gets a pass. But other than that, I did. Peter Rabbit was a dick. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Let's not no, lose no, our no, heads no, here. He was. He was. Peter right? Rabbit in is a national treasure. Book, in every single book, he was an asshole. Boys will mm. be boys. He, he's a scamp. He gets into little, little shenanigans. I don't wear a fucking jacket. His kid's in Ethiopia with no little blue coats. What's a rabbit get one? Ethiopians are definitely getting little blue coats. They're just stealing them from UN people. Flopsy has a petticoat. I'm all right with Flopsy. Me and Flopsy, we got an agreement. But I mean, Flopsy, not yeah. every story is about Peter Rabbit being an asshole. Yeah, high drinks. Stealing, stealing the farmer's fucking, you know, his, 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 his crops, his vegetables. Like the man, that's his living. He's a rabbit. He's an asshole. I, yeah, but he always learns the point. Like he breaks into the rabbits, or breaks into the farmer's little pen, gets his radishes, eats himself six, and then realizes his mom was right. Didn't do that. It, well, that's the thing. Like, yeah, all right. So he learns the moral of the story uh, by the end of it. I don't need to do that. I don't go around stealing uh. from farmers just to learn a lesson at the end of it. I already know not to steal from farmers. <laughs> no, I thought you were just. I thought you were going to say you just steal from farmers for fun. You can't ask this and not sound like a dick, so sorry. But you realize those stories are for children. Why do you think he's reading them? Well, I, and the child inside all of us. My computer was broken, man. I had nothing to do. <laughs> it's like going back and reading No David. I mean, no one does it, but if you have no television, you could. Sat in the dark reading Peter Rabbit, just fuming. Wow. So rabbit. You just dusted off a watercolored part of my brain I hadn't used in like I don't know how long. No, David. The the gnome, David. Wow. No, no, David. Not gnome, David. No, David. It's Is two that different, his... Davids? Yeah, no, are, David. Are we was talking not a about the gnome? Badass little not? fucking kid who would just fuck shit up for no reason. Like Peter Rabbit. Like Peter Rabbit, exactly. Like, actually fuck shit up or fuck shit up the way Drunkle imagines an eaten radish to be? No, like, he would just, like, knock over fish tanks. The kid was an asshole. Ah, right, like, uh, Horrid Henry. Yes. Yeah. I don't know who any of these people are. The fuck, man? Well, Horrid you Henry's got, an asshole. <laughs> you guys got cool literature. I had to go to comic books to find this stuff. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. But would you guys like to get into some schnooze? 
I, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it's time we. I've, like, that's all I've got to say on Peter Rabbit, to be honest. So yeah, yeah let's move on. Going to let let's you go on. on for too much longer. Peter Guys, out there, is brilliant. That's all I'm saying. In the chat, please smash the like button, share it out on your social media. Should you feel so inclined, slabs is down below for all three of us. Uh, I think I have one or two new donations, uh, and two, f four or five new upgrades that I will do at the 2450, the new one, the 25, or two for a John Wick and any derivation. It, it, yeah, I think that's the right word. Derivation. Of their end. So if you, like, Sam, bust my four. balls on this too. Sin. Derivation, it's a word. You're right. It's fine. Okay, thank yeah, you. I, I don't don't listen to him. I don't think I've it's, ever heard it before. Is, is the, uh, the thing Yeah, it's here. rarefied, oh. but it's totally a word. Yeah, yeah. No, you Just guys get what I'm any yeah. derivation of 25 they're in <laughs> two john wicks get you four 90 for four yeah 10 percent off whatever all right let's get to some schnooze guys it's the word of the day it is not derivation. derivative to derive have you guys seen the new trailer but what the new sequel to beetlejuice uh, no no i have not mm, i have not fuck, i haven't are heard are you about trying to like avoid it uh no, no, no. If, if, you, if we're going to do it here, then that's fine. But it's, yeah, it's, it's not Beetlejuice 2, is it? It's Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah. Which suggests there's going to be a third. It does. I, I do. I, I like it. it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. What a fucking I've, film that was as well. I've man. seen Brilliant. worse. Uh, anyway. Does it have one on a rider? Yes. Cool. Michael okay. Keatley nice. made a comment about this, and I can't not think of it. He called it trailer core music. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Look, if Which anyone's gonna Aubrey Plaza, if anyone's gonna do it, Ortega could do it. I'd I'd like Aubrey Plaza in it actually. How old is Jim like Ortega? Did. I'd like her in my house. Twenty-one. Yeah, okay. Yes. I, I mean, it it doesn't look bad. Is she dead? <laughs> like, I mean, in real life, she, she looks, looks pretty good. <laughs> she looks like CGI. Like she looks kind of the same. Yeah, no, she's still she's she's doing a Shit's Creek, isn't she? Yeah, she's she's, she's doing a bunch of shit. Wow, she's living right, I guess. Well, Wasn't she in a Stranger they... Things, the first season of Stranger Things? Winona Ryder was. Yeah. Oh yeah, Winona Ryder's ageless, man. That's a blessed woman. Dude, Winona Ryder played a fucking storm in the first season of Stranger Things. That's yeah. like a fucking mum going psycho over the fucking disappearance of a child. She was incredible. And that's the only season I watched of it. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fucking shit show, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I, I, his voice is unmistakable, and she really does look the same. Fuck. I, I got to tell you, I'm I'm here for this one. I'm enjoying it. I think this is, I'm, I'm going to go to cinema to watch his bad boy. It, it might be worth, it might be worth going to see it in person. This is, I mean, this has been made for us. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're a kid when you watch the first movie. Oh, yeah. And now, like, fuck it. This is made for us, man. I can see oh, it being I'm that excited. I can see it not being trash because director with a vision and it's not still Tim Burton, still Winona Ryder, still yeah. fucking it's Michael not soulless Keaton. corporate crap. Goosebumps. <laughs> I, I mean Michael Keaton still nails it. You, Dude, you can definitely brilliant. tell he's aged, but yeah. He's a great actor though. Like, the, he's the, aged the, into the, the role, you see. <laughs> Uh, more recently, he reprised his role as Batman. I've, I've not seen that film because apparently it's just awful. Uh, it and fucking Birdman. Oh, dude, Birdman. It, it's classic. I'm glad he got a chance to do Birdman. Shows chops. Guy mm -hmm. can act. Oh, it was Edward Norton was the guy in that for me, though. Where he played himself, a stuck up, yeah, acting, <laughs> I mean, great arrogant son of a bitch. Yeah. I, I love Edward Norton like in a that, lot man. of it shit, was spot though. On. <laughs> but yeah. I think my credit favorite... to him, he knew it. Like he said it. He goes, People say I'm like this. So I thought, oh, hey, it's perfect. You know what I mean? I've heard he's just a prick to work with, but he, mm -hmm. at, every movie I've seen him in, he's been amazing. Oh, the guy gets That's, results, yeah. mate. Yeah. Absolutely. He's, like, he's I, the, 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 he's Harry Callahan. You know, gotta the, like him, but he gets results, chief. Yeah. The 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 one movie that I feel like he never got enough credit for was Red Dragon, the Hannibal flick. Mm, good call, good fucking Fuck call. It, that Francis Dollar High. Ooh, that's a good flick, man. Have you seen no, it, Drunkle? No, you can 
act up against Sir Anthony and not have to play scared the whole time, you you know, can incredibly do so. Yeah, Edward Norton, Dude, man. It, it's, it's a, I guess, technically a sequel to Silence of the Lambs? Uh, technically, it's a remake. A remake of Silence? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. No, 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 no. A, re- a remake of Manhunter. Red Dragon, like Manhunter is a film by Michael Mann from 1981. That's the same exact story from oh, the book prequel. Series. Yes, yes. What? It's a prequel, not a sequel. Oh yeah, yeah. In terms of the sequence of events, it takes place before Silence of the Lambs, but it's. But th- that's probably my favorite Ed Norton flick. It's so good. That's your favorite Even one. Even American History X, though, dude. Oh yeah, better. Brilliant. That's no love to, for thing, uh, Death to Smoochie? Nothing, really? Never wow. seen that one. I know, neither have I. Did you just make <laughs> up that movie title? No, it's totally... He, he, he plays... Uh, <laughs> like, is like Polly a, trying to fucking play me right now? No, it's, it's like a, a furry <laughs> dinosaur character like at Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm or whatever named Smoochie. I, until I get proof that this exists, this is a handbox in my opinion. <laughs> I, you know what? Normally, I'd get mad, but it sounds so stupid. Yeah. Type in, type in death to Smoochie. See if I'm lying. Okay. If, if a porno pops and, up. And, yeah, and look up uh, <laughs> gullible at dictionary.com. Oh, fuck it. Auto-filled. It. Death to Smoochie. Robin Williams, uh, Danny DeVito, Ed Norton, Catherine. Uh, what's her face? Pepper. John Stewart? I think if nothing came up, I think Polly would have won that. I think that is the, that, that's when you win the convincing lie is when someone yeah, Googles it. He, yeah. <laughs> that is exactly what it takes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are. F- I will 50... never forget. You actually looked up a ham box on Amazon. Yeah. You did. I mean, yeah. I, I, it, it was I'm more or less to confirm, but you still did yeah. it. Still it was... did it. <laughs> and then we are I found f- to sweet. The ham boxer became the ham boxy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have been ham boxed. We're 53 away from a horse cock. And I know you guys like that. Uh, God confirms that man crushes on Henry Cavill, not gay. Fine, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. I was doing it anyway. <laughs> He's the geek's geek. The what? The geek's, the geek's geek. geek. The geek's geek. I, I always kind of liked him from afar. Like he was a great Superman, but I didn't like any of the Superman movies he was in. And then yeah, I found I out. Then I found out he painted minis, and I'm like. Oh my god! Did you see this, he's doing? This guy's a, got legit cred, man. What the fuck? What a he's nerd! He's doing a show with Amazon about forty k. Seriously? Yes, yeah, yeah. That's what I've heard. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was uh, after he got dropped from The Witcher, and then he got dropped from Superman as well, and he went, "Fuck it, I'm doing Warhammer." I'm surprised. Games Workshop is letting anybody play with their toys, those sons of bitches that they are about it. He was on a talk show called uh, the, the Graham Norton Show. Is an Irish gayer over here who's been uh, broadcasting for a very, very long time. And he was on uh, the show with Tom Holland. So he had Superman and Spider-Man in the same room. And uh, he mentioned that, you know, he goes, oh, in my spare time, I like to paint uh, minifigures. And fucking Graham Norton's taken the piss out of him. And fact, in fact, Tom Holland's just like, oh, <laughs> shit, so what, what's, what's your army, you know? And they're talking about fucking <laughs> right. what? <laughs> yeah, for real, right? Awesome. And fucking Graham Norton's awesome. like, oh, he's like, oh, you, 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 you little boys with your toys and everything. But they didn't give a shit. Fucking Cavill's just like, oh, so you play with that? Should we Should we play? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, definitely, mate. <laughs> Fuck that guy, you know? Yeah, you yeah, enjoy he, something. He's enjoy not fucking it. around. It's, it's not something his fucking agent or whoever the fuck, like classic Hollywood fucker, told him to do. Like, um, pretend you know how to pump gas like they tell politicians. And, <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> Yeah, you know, relate to the little guy. No, no, like he's got like a set of skills, man. He can dry brush and whatever. Like his minis are way beyond mine, and that pisses me off because that guy's got like the equivalent of like three full time jobs. Fuck, man. It, it was um after the uh the whole the meme of like you know Xbox or PlayStation. He went he just looked at the guy like PC, you know, he was like yeah. look a look of <laughs> disgust on his face, and then he released a, a a YouTube video of him building his own PC. Millions of views. That, millions that of views sense. man i mean no it was great because i also saw a meme of um it was a superheroes uh holding their babies so you had like robert downey jr with his kid and thor with his kid and then it was henry cavill with his graphics card <laughs> <laughs> nice. that's pretty good you guys know i'm a big fan of a listicle you want to go over one let's do a listicle man 32 newer products you'll feel smug before owning before you'll 
You'll I feel smug you for owning before your friends do. Smug the reverse nice. coloring book. Rever so you're coloring the backgrounds? It's just erasing everything. Yeah, on yeah the you're, page. I, you're you're coloring backgrounds. A so self, it's albino world. Self-heating, soothing foot mask made with Epsom. I always get disappointed. No one's going to feel smug for foot masks. That's a sock. Yeah. A sock laced a with new Epsom elf salts. makeup. Genius. Ooh, this is pretty cool. A set of collapsible. <laughs> Oof. Oh, no. <laughs> Collapsible oh, lungs? Smelled what? like McFish. God damn. <laughs> God damn you, Lent. <laughs> <laughs> A set of collapsible, reusable grocery bags. That's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, until they make them mandatory. Dude, <laughs> we already have the no plastic bag rule here. Town or Ohio? G uh, county. Okay. Cuyahoga County is no reusable plastic bags, at least a giant eagle. You can't sign you wanna, on to Davos's initiative for free. You got to, you know, if you want to use one of the paper bags, it's five cents, buddy. Man, they, uh, yeah, they, they start charging 10 pence over here. They made it a uh, law. That's the, for the entire country as well. Fuck your county bullshit. If you want a plastic bag, it's got to be 10p. And Do you I guys have counties in England? Friend. Yeah, we have counties, yeah. I think they're the original counties, aren't they? I guess. I, th I just thought someone was misspelling country, to be honest. <laughs> I remember um, fucking Corner Shop uh, wasn't charging for these bags. So my fucking friend just went, hey, 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 Millard, they're not charging for plastic bags in that shop, so stock up. There was the saddest thing I've ever heard. Stock up. <laughs> I mean, there it is. The Manifestation Journal. Mm. A pair of earrings. Who gives a People shit? People got to drop that word manifest, man. It's a frost you... buddy. It's a cup. It's a it's a cup. Another cup. <laughs> What's the difference? Lip it looks like a Mountain Dew cup. What's, so what? Purse wipes. Underwear. Period. Underwear. Uh... Do you guys not have pants? Or later in life, circumcision wear. I guess. Uh. A car seat release tool. A car seat release tool to spare your a thumbs. A wrench? What, what? Scissors? What? A car seat <laughs> release tool? Oh, it's like to cut, got a, to cut the security on. strap, you mean? No, it's it looks like just a thing you put over the buckle and then you click it easier. Is, how is that? You don't that want your children to be able to like thumb out pain easier. and broken nails. The oh, buckle is, I don't think it could get more simple. You press a button, it comes out. Okay. Molly like, Okami I, said, that I, shit doesn't work, trust me. I have to assume you're talking about the period underwear, in which case, gross. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I've got a magazine it, it loader, and that's up. worth having. Like, if you've got a high-capacity magazine, oh. that spring gets pretty high pressure once you've at least half-loaded it. And when you're doing that all afternoon, your thumb gets sore. But how many mm. times are you seriously taking your seatbelt on and off that you need a protective device? Mm. Polly, I got I got something I want to pick your brain about. Drunkle, if you have to go pee or something, now's the time. Um, oh, yeah, I've taken five again, two shows in a row. My brother and I have been having this debate for sticking probably, it to you for not having a brother, <laughs> right? What bastards! <laughs> for probably sorry, you, you and your for, brother were what <laughs> having this debate for probably five years now. I keep all my magazines loaded, always. Okay. He believes that it is easier on the magazine to unload them and let them sit, then reload them a couple of months later, and then unload mm -hmm. them, and then reload them, and, and then unload cycle them. them like that. Do they yeah. uh, have a, a spring in them? Yes. Oh, yeah. That is the then, main yes, mechanism, he, is a big spring. Then he'd be correct. But would it not be more wear and tear on the spring, putting it up and down and up and down and up and down, as opposed to just down once? Think how fast it goes up when you're firing. The thing is, uh, the, the cycle when happens in the blink of an eye. When it's compressed uh, over long periods of time, it will lose its, what well, dare I say, springiness. You want it to be uh, in its extended form in order for it to, when it's compressed, to then bounce back up. It, like Divine Petulant said, the more tension cycles, the more wear and tear. 
Uh, agreed. Yeah, I mean, I'd be you're never going to not get wear and tear. But if you take and then a there's advocates the blocked... constant compression would weaken it. This is the same thing we've been arguing about for years. I have an opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and some shitty single use data to back it up. It doesn't really make a difference if you want to cycle through your ammunition because or your magazines because you want to. Yeah. It, it can't possibly hurt. It can only help. But the idea of having your magazines loaded for like a couple of years before you take them to the range and fire through them. Okay. First of all, shame on you for only getting to the range that rarely, but, um, it's unless you over compress a spring as anyone will tell you, any kind of mechanical engineer will tell you it's range of, it's still pretty springy within its range of motion for a yeah. long, long time. And the shitty data, um, I was reading uh, an article in, um, shooting illustrated and a guy went and bought a gun a remington rand uh you know the typewriter company from world war ii that was retooled to make 1911s during world war ii uh he found a reasonably pr- priced remington rand so he went to the old lady who now owned it and uh because her husband had passed away and bought it from what he could tell it had gi ammunition in it in the magazine and had been loaded since world war ii and he's like, this is a rare opportunity. I'm not taking the rounds out of there. I'm going to lock them up as is, then go to the range and see if, can you get away with keeping a magazine loaded for nigh on 80 plus years? And the answer is yes. Every, every one of them seven rounds fired. No shit. Uh, that, everything I've looked up says the same thing. It literally doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a fine thing if you want to do it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with best practice. You know what I mean? Eh, well, 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 I suppose it won't kill anyone. Just F- fuck you for not agreeing with me. <laughs> well, but, but, but I gave you a story to go tell your brother and you can end it with in your face fucker. So, yeah, oh, I, I think I will do that actually. I mean, yeah. Fucking world war two. Jesus Christ. And it was, it, everything was still absolutely it's like a hundred years enough. ago. Fair enough. Mm. Uh, and for Sherman, thank you for the $10. Polly, I have a simple question. Yes or no to hell divers too. I've heard resounding yeses. Is, is, it's a very fun game. So I, I would have to say yes, given the mm-hmm. option, yes or no. Not that I've played it myself because, of, uh, well, the last week has sucked balls. And then the week right. before that, more of the same. More ball sucking? Yeah. You should try not doing that. Mm. Well, you know, easier said than done. You wake up in the morning, there Feeling you go. like cool. P. Diddy? No. <laughs> anyway I'm guys smash that like button share it out there's slabs links down below Asha, really? mine's down really? below we have f- two f- four or five or five or so we have some more new don't not donations uh evolutions and these guys get cuter and i get cooler because i'm cooler than they are uh do you want a sling backpack no, no nobody wants no, this no i don't yeah what well you're mean? not gonna be able to put anything in that it's, except a it's gun too small and your a mock, lipstick purse. M- mock neck power jump. You want a power suit? I do, but I'm disappointed by what it is. You hear power suit, you think fallout, you know? Washable socks? Flat socks? Socks nah, are sucks. washable. I don't understand. A yeah. cowboy straw? Nobody wants that. A I, this is really weird suit. for me, Sam. I'm not going to lie. This is not the way we do things on the war bar. And I realize I'm not in my bar. I, I get that. It's just, uh, when you're used to drunken meandering, holy shit, we wouldn't be on number five by now. I, you move. A, a portal. Yeah. We have time limits on this show, but but, you know what? Drink more. That's your problem. I'm working on it. You're too fucking sober. Dude, I will say the fucking, the, the scrub daddy, scrub mommy sponges are the goddamn best sponge i've now ever owned in my fucking you, life you, you put the the you know you're washing up detergent in the handle and it dispenses it as you as you scrub yeah you get that little attachment for it these the sponges well, are five bucks shit. a piece but they last forever and they're amazing i so think you're, you're, you're the guy the, every uh, time i do the dishes man i'm like god bless this man you know <laughs> you you bought the hand squirrel yes you, you should buy uh Either the dinosaur ladle or the dinosaur T ball. 
Far bought the T ball. It's her favorite thing. Like it's just she adores it. It's like the best thing ever. There's a monster terrorizing her tea. I don't drink tea. Uh, well, okay. well, if you get this, uh, no, coffee? I still wouldn't. But you wouldn't want to. I mean, why would you leave a spoon? And I drink black floating coffee. in your coffee. Yeah, exactly. I mean, not only do the I ladle, drink coffee, I would black, leave. There'd be no reason to have a spoon in there. One of my sticks, X and hammer. Yeah, exactly. I'm not clanking. Anyway, this one sucks. Next. You're not in love with your coworker. You just have office goggles, says Relationship Pros, a.k.a. you're horny at work. There, I summed I'm, up this whole article for you. You're just horny at work. I am in love with my coworker. Sin, Polly. Aww, he's so cute. How do you not love those little turned up eyes? <laughs> How can you not fall in love with these little turnip eyes? Just wait till you see what he has next, if you think that's Let me cute. take a guess. That article is written by an actual psychologist. It's probably or written by therapist. someone who thinks they are. Yeah. Someone whose husband recently left them because she had an affair with a colleague. All right, no one cares about surcharges on non-dairy milk. Why friendly fire is always on, according uh. to Hell Divers 2 devs. I'll delete this for Monday. Arrowhead Games' massively successful co-op shooter, Helldivers 2, is different than a lot of other games right now, challenging players with tough enemies, hard missions. However, one element of Helldivers 2 has drawn a lot of discussion. Friendly fire. Bryce, why is it always on? Bryce. <laughs> is he blasting people in the back? Dude, no, is this, this fucking... motherfucker. <laughs> he is He's a menace. Using mortars. <laughs> Well, I got to wait for you to lean into him. Start calling him Garrick, the character from Deep Space Nine. He's a Trek nerd. He'll get it. Garrick awesomely once said, like, yeah, I once thought about shooting Goldicott. You'd shoot a man in the back. Well, it's the safest way, isn't it? And apparently that's where Bryce likes to operate from. The rear of the guard shooting y'all in the back. Bryce is a coming fucking from menace. Like, as soon as we land on the map, the first thing he does is hit you. I Once. I did it once. Let's call it a high five. It's an American thing. Went, I, hey, Drunkle, wait there. And I went, yeah, okay. He just came up to me and just twatted me with your rifle and just ran off. It, Bryce <laughs> killed me like four times in a row. And it, it, half of them were his fault. And the other half were his fault. And he was standing on the edge of a big fucking bug nest. And I just ran up behind him like, get in there, Bryce. And I hit him in the back and launched him. <laughs> like, you motherfucker. Uh, Nazi, thanks for the buck. Uh, this whole list looks like shit you order from Temu, only to get your card mm -hmm. details stolen and broken garbage. Hmm. And of course, yeah. It, or, you know, or a squirrel hand and you don't remember why. Or a bacon box, but you do remember why, but you still regret it. You know, these guys get it. And for Sherman, thank you for the dollar. Uh, check your Steam gift and just a head up, heads up. It's like 70. Um, is that the end? Hold on. No, I'll figure it out. Um, nope, nope, I won't. GBS, GBS. great GBS. British stones, gigabytes. Oh. Stones. <laughs> I thought I thought it was money. I thought he was saying the thing cost seventy bucks. No, I don't know. Like, I was trying to it's like twenty five right now. Gigabytes, mate. Gigabytes. Okay, that that's not. Yes, big gigabytes. And but for twenty five sure, bucks, you, you can involve one of us. Cool. Thank you very much. Uh, mate, nice M4 M4. Schimmer has now bought all three of us hell divers. Like, M4, Dude, you you are a legend, mate. I am loving it. Um, my uh, sense of distrust in the world makes me think that I'm. Uh, being brought there for my back to be shot at, but no, okay. Just yeah. don't play with Bryce. You'll be all right. Uh, yeah. I, I, speaking of which, uh, up in chat, a uh, critical question being asked. Um, Damon, uh, does dry firing harm your guns? What about dry firing? Yes. Uh, it might, but it's worth it. That's a short version of it. If Get you got a snap a, cap. They're like five bucks. Yeah. and But honestly, you don't even need them. You should be doing a dry fire regimen. It fucking works. If it works for the pros, why wouldn't it work for everybody else? And it's critical See, to do and i mean seriously what's the damage is going to happen it's a small metal shaped device designed everything to i've heard that it could fuck with the the uh pin the firing, firing pin, pin? The, nah. the, the, the 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 assembly oh well 
I prefer my I, fire. I but... fucked up a uh, I fucked up a crossbow by dry firing that once. I mean, okay, some rimfire guns on the outside, yeah, you actually will fuck them up. But anything that's center fire, uh, will you fuck it up after tens of thousands of uh, trigger pulls? Yeah, but you'll be a hell of a lot better of a shot. And isn't that worth a fifteen dollar spring and fucking firing pin arrangement? I think. I, so. I think I just play it safe. Get one of those five bucks. What fucking snap caps? You'll be all right. Yeah. Anyway, I, why it stays on? It's more challenging, and the dev said it's fucking hilarious, and it is. That, that's legit, that was the quote, isn't it? They said they'll never turn it off because it's funny. <laughs> It's a rule of cool, baby. Hey, I'll play with you, Polly. That's a nice way of saying it. I've been looking forward to shooting your ass. Alexa, stop. <coughs> oh, Drop. speaking of shooting Whoa. people, I have a new Excuse donation. Me. I forgot about that. I got a new $5 donation. <laughs> mm. It's it's a, it's it's nothing going to change the world, but uh, I'm really into Houston uh, hip-hop right now, so I thought I'd make something out of it. CTP, thank you for the buck. Have fun with the hell, di hell divers. Avoid broken arrow. Is that a lost atomic weapon? That's the developers. No, hang on. Oh. That's Arrowhead, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. so what's a broken arrow? About a buck fifty. Platty, I'm I play randomly throughout the day. Uh, chuck me a message over on Steam, and I'll send you my friend code. Or on a uh, Discord, I'll send you my friend code. You just want people to play fart on play? I mean, I know she works. Get this. She has a job. She's got one. Well, you've had those construction jobs. So, like, you know, where you got to drive two hours just to get to the site. You know what I'm talking about? And you, you got to be there at like 5 a.m. No, I worked for two of the laziest fucking construction. If it wasn't within like our county, we just wouldn't do it. <laughs> Art is not plain no. That's weird. It, I thought hit me up, Platty. We'll play. I play throughout the day randomly. I'm always up for a mission or two if I got time. It's who he is. Uh, but guys, smash that like, share it out. The thing with the thing and the guys down below, Evolutions and uh, Awu package. And Miss and I are also throwing on a new McKinley Club package. We're working on that. This I just found weird. <laughs> this is some very weird shit I found. This app. The donation you talked over? Did you find that weird too? I No donation popped up on my end. Well, must be. And let me reset. That's weird. You're the host. What the hell? Why would it show from you for you? Are they um, uh, properties on. refresh? Okay. Now put it through. All right. I will. Hold on. I'm not prepared. Now I am. Hell, I don't give a fuck about no witnesses. Witness this. I think that's one of the most brilliant rhymes I've heard in a couple of years. Not give a damn about no witnesses. Witness this. Yeah. Witness me. Looney Lenny, thank you for the $5. Greatly appreciated. Taking that little donation out for a spin. Hope you dug it. Lots of Texans in the room. They should be okay with it. Scarface. Hell yeah. Uh, Handoff to the host went smooth. Yeah, I, I I'm like. just looking. I still have the 1350 and the 1911, 1912 that are new. You guys could check that. Anyway, this website app it claims to STD check you <laughs> if you send pictures of your genitals to them. So it's ah, Theranos combined with send nudes. It, it, if you send them pictures of your genitals, they will STD test you. Okay, there's a bunch of good Whenever jokes I in that. Whenever I send photos of my genitals, I just get reported to the police. I mean, but think about the pranks. Head down your That's... local li head down your local library. I can go to one of the med libraries on campus and uh, get a picture of some diseased genitals, send it off, and put the return address to someone you don't really like at all. Ooh, uh, people in the chat said that's not how that works. It's a scam. Mm. I'm not falling for this. But people are people are falling for this, and that is the fucking crazy part. It's genius. Victims of revenge porn actually sent their nudes to fucking Facebook to make sure it didn't happen again. Think about that. Dude, the, the, 
I, I don't know how more people aren't talking about this. This is actual craziness. Blackout 8879. <laughs> Blackout 8879. 8879. Uh, thanks for the buck. I've always told, hoped his name was in reference to the 300 AAC blackout. Well, that's just because I dig the cartridge. Broken arrow in this context means ordinance in your position, on your position, you are overrun. It means ordinance on your position, you are overrun. Okay, I see. Oh, so when yeah, you're okay. when you're pinned down and everywhere you look is Bugs. people aiming at you. Automatons. Oh, really? Okay. A uh, teacher who resigned after her OnlyFans page was discovered says her new employer fired her, too, for having an OnlyFans page. Now, I've read this entire article, and the mm. only thing that stuck out to me, her yearly teaching salary was 42 k That stuck out. Teachers should be making way more than that. Thank you, Sam. But yes. she had made yes, over a million dollars on OnlyFans. That's inconceivable. That's insane. Why the fuck are you still a teacher? (laughs) You're the job, I suppose. What? You never taught anyone, have you? Yeah. Yeah, I used to teach uh, acting to camera to children. It was, I mean, look, they had to audition to join this fucking acting school, so they actually wanted to be there, you know? But, you know, fucking some people do, you know, want to be teachers and you know pursue it as what did i say a career but they do enjoy you know young minds for the molding uh shelly said she probably made the million dollars after she got fired and the story became viral no no she made it before god knows what she made after i mean first off good for smash. her first off smash well, yeah, yeah definitely smash yeah, yeah fucking oh, smash god. she's a goddamn professional isn't she he probably <laughs> learned a thing or two mm. uh, and um this thing is social media policies. I think we're going to see a lot more of that as well. I mean, social media is not going anywhere. They want to make sure you're not a complete cunt, Nancy, shit like that. Especially when it comes to fucking teaching kids. So I think yeah, only only fans is going to be a, a part of that as well. I just want that job of you know, especially when it comes to like someone as hot as this. She starts interviewing for a job. Like let's hand it over to Millard. Who's gonna see if she's got an OnlyFans page? <laughs> fingers crossed. You know? <laughs> You're the resident OnlyFans check, right? <laughs> and you get it all on expenses as well. You've not got to pay for it. Yeah, for sure. I Brilliant. like it. God damn, a million bucks and still a teacher? Should have fucking better known better. I was listening to this conversation with this guy. Um, um shit. What's his, his name? Gregory. Whatever. Uh, Gregory Hutchinson. And he was talking, he said, so, I mean, he goes, you got to get your high school diploma. He says, this is his point. And so he said, well, fuck you. Didn't, you don't have it. And he went, fuck you. I don't. I have my high school diploma. He goes, you did? You finished? Why? He said, made a great smoke screen for selling weed. True. I was like, wow. <laughs> that's, that's big true. <laughs> yeah. Considering that was after he got out for two years of fucking cross nation trafficking of weight. I was like, okay, there you go. Oh man. Look at that. I, I really, I, I truly want you guys to see the rest of the evolutions I have. We're a cunt hair away from a horse cock. You guys know you want it. You want to see yeah. Biden's latest speech? I do. No. And all of the rest of these, and there's quite a few left. Look at his it's chest all- pocket, man. The house plan is growing. Bit of moss. Yeah. These are all the titular the garden. <laughs> esque articles because this isn't happening. It's not happening. None of this is happening. Ireland now is one of the top ten investors in the United States economy, and our country stand stand proudly for liberty and against tyranny. We stand together and oppose Russia's brutal war of aggression in Ukraine. You can clap for that, please. Would you you went full jab. Never go full jab. Please clap. He he went full jeb. But Russia's uh, brutal war of aggression. Now remember, you're guys, terrible this at isn't everything, Joe. You're happening. a terrible Irishman, you're a terrible president, you're a terrible Catholic, you're you're a terrible father. You're uh, you're just you're just terrible. This is oh, oh, they wars, changed wars they changed the fucking title of this 
from gunman and you guys can see what i'm highlighting here article slash gunman open fire in moscow concert hall they changed the title to putin rejects u.s warning of a terrorist attack why would you change that headline now this just happened today this happened today and they're already retconning everything the federal gaslighting which is why we need to yeet the fed writ large but the federal gaslighting is already in full effect regarding this and for anybody who doesn't know there was literally oh boy. I can't show this on stream let's go here and just shut that Sorry, what was the quick. original title again sin i was gunmen open fire in moscow concert hall and Putin apparently had been forewarned by the United States, but he rejected it. Is that the story? That's what they're saying. But look okay. at this. It is literally a no Russia moment. Oh, boy. oh, oh dude. Are those cleanup shots that guy's taking? Yeah. Oh man. That every like what well, like the, 80% the, of those shots on fired fire. Were Look just, at that. You know, making sure, you know what I mean? Yeah, it sparked the, up. All right. you no know Russia from World War II? This that's literally what this is. Or at World War II, Modern Warfare 2. You know the mission I'm talking about? Oh, I do, yeah. That's that's literally what this is. Will you link this? No, sorry. You're going to have to just find it. I don't even want to post the link in chat. You're going to have to find it on Twitter. I don't really want to see, though. Yeah, it's more hearing it than seeing it. You can kind of see at the end what the hell's going on, but then you realize why that ass was firing so many shots, so deliberate and spread out like that. Bang, 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 yeah. But that's what happened. But here are the reports. 40-plus casualties and more than 100 wounded in terrorist attacks on the City Hall. So it was a concert and a City Hall. Um, But there's more to it. They set the fucking place on fire on their way out. Look at that. It's just burning and crumbling. They really did. Like, full on. Don't this is some- be racist. I am a building. Well, you're... you're- this one's a towering inferno, but yeah, this, this is a burning building. Actually, y'all broke me. Just bought Helldivers too. Nice guy. Uh, look, they they Hans Gruber the fucking place. Nice. How often do you get to say that? The death toll has risen to sixty, and this is three hours ago. Look at the fucking look at it from the outside. Boy. Look at this. We're no not in Pennsylvania. Uh, The blaze gets worse. God damn. Why is this still playing? Shut the fuck. No. We got more. Look at that. Uh, Russia has a statement about how top Ukrainian officials, if found complicit, will be destroyed for this so russia had no fucking clue and they they're like if we found out ukraine is behind this we are going to destroy whatever officials are involved so russia is the epitome of not fucking around right now Uh, so uh ian in the chat said isis claimed responsibility Mm, I'm sure they did. I don't... Dude, I'm sorry. I don't buy that for a second. It's not where my mind went, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Where, where'd you go? Um, Somebody or other, regardless of the particular people that I thought of, uh, somebody who was against the centralized authority in Russia dissidents breakaway people etc i mean even there are don't you know how hard it is to hold russia or china together fuck i i whoever did this i mean just 
you saw the video. These guys are well armed, well armored, and obviously had money behind them. Mm. But mm. for ISIS to come out and say I, that I couldn't they tell, were they body Russia, armored? Pfft. Oh God, yeah, yeah. Well, if America knew it was going to happen, I would imagine somebody in the Ukrainian government had something to do. That's if they are already saying that Putin is ignoring. America's warnings about this then somebody in America knew it was going to happen. But I mean that's that's never surprising, right? I mean the well it's it's, it's mostly not surprising forewarning of uh, a move like that you you, you don't want to do stuff like that in anonymity the whole point is to promote political change that's the point of terrorism, right? So it, I I just can't I just can't wrap my head around Russia being attacked by ISIS. I just, what, I, are, it, it really? just doesn't click. No, Did you don't they remember the, the fund ISIS. At least in no, Syria? It's, like I said, like I said, it's the centralized power that Russia has throughout its entire sphere of influence. You know, you don't remember the eth- or never heard of the ethnic cleansing that was going on in the nineties throughout the Balkan Did, states. I, Muslims I, I, whack out people everywhere they go, man. That's how they, you know become the larger demographic i don't know about that one i don't know if i'm buying that uh, it happened i guess isis takes responsibility for the attack right houthis away. and hamas uh houthis and hamas wish russia their condolences a photo of the possible perpetrator is also released in an hour uh, Yeah, but they're, now, remember, it's, it's, it's Russia. To do with like, the 90s, dude. Have you seen a meteor? I, I didn't say it had something to do with the 90s. This is an example of Russia having beef with organized Islamists and it not being a new thing remotely. That was my only point by bringing up uh, ethnic cleansing in the 90s. But have you seen a meteorite fall in the past 10 years where it didn't come from a fucking Russian dash cam? Because they all have them. For whatever reason, I forget what the reason is why every car has a dash cam in Russia. But, I mean, that they eventually found a dash cam that took video Be of quiet. the shooters. Shut up! Be All right. Quiet. I hey, will. Do you want to know what my baseless thought is? Someone sure. in Ukraine told America what they were planning. Russia guessed it was Ukraine because of the war of aggression. And then after it happened, 60 citizens in Russia killed. 60 innocents. 60? Fuck. At the last count, hours ago. Russia turned around and was like, if we find out Ukraine's responsible for this, we are going to fucking glass you. And they're like, uh, ISIS did it. (laughs) It was ISIS actually, not us, sorry. I don't know what happened there. Uh, both the U.S. and U.K. embassies in Moscow warned Americans and British in Moscow to avoid large crowded areas on March 7th. Uh, from Since March 7th. Jesus. I love how people who vote down uh-huh. Smash the like button before I pull your, pull your tenders off. Okay, Steve Tape, thanks. Oh <laughs> uh, we're, we're a John Wick away from two evolutions and a horse cock. The, the sentences we come up with here are... Really, yeah, I was I, gonna say, or a John Wick away from freedom depends how you look at it. You know, a John Wick away from two evolutions and a horse cock that's where we sit right now. <laughs> but God, this this whole thing is it's it's like when they blew up the pipeline to Europe. I'm like, mm, I don't think Russia would do that. I, I it's I, just it's not sitting right if that makes sense it that makes a hell of a lot of sense sure you know your mind goes hmm but it's always important to remember when you're talking about the russians or the chinese especially the russians they don't get caught doing the mirror imaging thing they make thought pro they have thought processes like ours or whatever like don't ever assume the leaders of another country are going to think like you do the russians are the people that are willing to starve out their own fucking citizens by burning down all the fucking crops just so enemy soldiers can't eat them it's like, but your own people will die first yeah well we got more of them that's russian thinking. that's how they won world war ii yeah i it's crazy we, we will choke their rivers with our dead very lenin-y uh. if you will anyway i'm i'm gonna be paying close attention to see how this plays out 
Yeah, I uh, heard about this from you, man. How do you how do you feel being a news aider? Uh, not great. Like I need a beer and a piss. Mm. Uh, at two thirty two a.m. And guys, by the way, this isn't happening. This doesn't no, happen. Oh, no, no, close not. No. At two thirty two a.m. when America was asleep, the Swamp Congress released its second half of the omnibus bill the uh the budget spending bill or whatever oh look at that thing you can't ship it all at once Come on. what uh 1012 pages that spends 1.2 trillion dollars on biden's policies the house is expecting to vote on this yesterday morning and they passed it so they released it at 2 a.m. and were expected to vote on it at 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. One That's more than enough time for someone pages. to read through it. Spot all the uh, pork and the earmarks and the paper clips and every other damn thing. Book rheumatic, don't I mean Stalinist? Uh, yeah, actually, I did. On those bills are bullshit, Lisa says. I do. You, you know the kind of different government we would have? Just... Because the, the particular functioning of a government doesn't matter. Oh, I beg to differ. Imagine gonna single a line case. item bills. You cannot pass group bills, only single line item bills. That would change the nature of the way that Congress works. It'd be amazing. That and term limits at the same time. You want to drain the swamp? Let geriatric conditions do it for you. How are is you? There, is there a really long donation playing? Should I have shut up? No, he, he said he was going to go get a beer. Oh, I thought like, he was like planning for the future. I, whoops. Oh, I, I, I'd say that that is planning for the future, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I guess the immediate future, sure. Yeah. Well, look, Shelly's and Shelly. But then they wouldn't be able to embezzle money and make their friends rich with silly spending projects. I know. I mean, what's the point of getting into government then, right? I... How about you, Polly? Pissed. Huh. You know, I can use this as a self-serving example, though. People ask, I say, what's the greatest problem facing America? News entertainers. Why? Because the very people that say we're to be honored because we speak truth to power and hold those in power responsible for what they do never mention a bill that fucking big that none of them pencil necks would even be able to pick up. It's so it, fucking that's heavy. The, that's the issue is they want to make it so you can't read it before you vote on it. Yeah. And the problem is the news entertainers largely agree with the current administration, so they are perfectly fine with it. They uh, should fuck be. Snuck, that would be pretty based. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, oh, shit, we're deep. Uncle Snuck. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene immediately filed a motion to oust Speaker Johnson after he passed the bill. Hmm. Yeah. Think what you will, but gotta respect that. Why the fuck I'd would you say... I'd be happier if yeah. she had a powerful caucus behind her. You know, so there was like actually a snowball chance in hell kind of thing of it happening. If if she didn't fuck herself with, like, the Jewish space laser shit, she would have. Because she's proved herself pretty good. But it's just so much shit she said that's retarded that no one can take seriously. Yeah, she's got Trump's problem. Mm, what she does is fine. What she says is pretty fucking dumb. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And, well, can be easily taken advantage of. That's the, the best way to look at it. I don't take it serious when she says stupid shit. But then again, I don't take Biden serious when he mumbles his way through most things. So, you know, you can't, but it's not happening. Just like they're not retconning what words mean. Last oh. Sunday, bloodbath meant oh, a ruthless yeah. slaughter of a great number of people, a massacre. They changed it to bloodbath, bloodbaths with the example, be allowed the protest, be a lot. He allowed the protest to go ahead despite warnings that it would spark a bloodbath. Hell, I don't give a fuck about no witnesses. Witness what is this? Hell, I don't That's probably not the best donation to have come up when you were talking about a bloody violent protest, huh? Oh, well.
Jesus Christ, Last Royal Raven. I, I don't even think I could pull that up. Uh, Blackout 8879, thank you for the $5. Your vote means nothing. I'm going to bring it up, though. Your polls mean nothing. Your protests mean nothing. Your cries mean nothing. However, your bullets, those will mean everything. As, why man, as a wise man once said, these men must fall. Well. Uh, a man in California uh, found a body that had been hit by a train, went up and grabbed hey, a leg, you know? and started eating it. What no. the fuck? No. Demon fever, man. The government ain't telling us the half of it. This what is not the, the dystopian fuck? future I wanted. I... No, the dystopian future has horse cocks and evolutions in it, not cannibals. You're not Haitian. Stop it. Next. Mine is it's cyberpunky. It's got, it's got fe sexy female assassins with robot arms and flying cars. This is not what I wanted. Uh, Trump could get $3.5 billion after shareholders approve the truth social merger. Fine. Okay. He's going to make a couple of bucks on that one. That's pretty cool. But okay, for some reason, he can't use the meme stock to pay his four point five or $454 million penalty. He is barred from selling his shares for six months. So, dude, they're just doing whatever the fuck they can to fuck him over. Still seems that way, yeah. Mm. Well, blood from a turnip and whatnot. They're going to have to give him time to pay or he simply won't pay because where does someone come up with that much liquid cash? No the smiling, idea. craggy faced judge that pulled that shit knew that shit. And that's why he's going to fucking bend. Uh, I just could not tell. It's insane. I don't know how they're getting away with it, but when there's a two tier justice system, that's what you do. Biden. There are awkward. no scandals with a compliant media. Just like Biden, it's totally not happening. He's totally not demented. He has no sonality. Uh, Valine set this one over. He awkwardly wanders off stage. And because of your vote, we have accomplished so much. We have made so much progress together. But we know that there is still work to do. Oh, no. <laughs> because he couldn't resist the baby in the crowd. <laughs> is, really? I thought he saw something that looked like pudding. I love when he turns into a Roomba. Now, see, I would have walked away while this woman was talking, but you would have known from my movements and gestures that I'd like planned it to I'd, do like, it. Pull my phone out of my pocket, pretend that it's turned on, look at it, and go, "Oh!" with a facial expression, like I gotta oh, go. I'm getting a phone uh, call. Right? Yeah. It's like, oh shit! Important <laughs> stuff's happening. Gotta go. Boring. Bitch. He just he just Roomba away. He just. <laughs> Steve Dave, thanks for the buck. Thing is, I believe uh, it will be a bloodbath, but a bloodbath caused by the um, a certain party spurring ill-educated masses to riot like they did after a certain candidate loss for them. But worse. Uh, I'm censorious. Oh, fuck. Social Security program failed to properly notify people that they have to pay huge fine. Dude... Everyone thought, every fucking one thought that that goddamn unemployment social security shit that I you cashed in on during the pandemic was going to be free. Nope. And they're not even telling you that you're owe, that you owe. You know what they're doing? They're just keeping your tax returns. Everything you thought you were going to get, you ain't fucking getting it. They're just keeping your tax returns like, oh, we forgot to tell you. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry if we forgot to let you know. You went a little Eeyore there. That was funny. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's we how they're hard people to are react, you. I think. Mm. 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 Andrew Thorsten said I didn't take a dime. Me fucking either. And I got to tell you, I am. I'm a small business owner. I could have taken like 20 grand. That money ain't free. They're going to come back for that shit. And I never took a penny of it. See, Dronko, I was talking the other day, right? About uh, having a conversation on 
policies, not politics and yeah. so left and liberalism and whatnot. Luna, this is secure. Social security is a Ponzi scheme. It's not supposed to be, and it's not set up to be, but the way that it's run, it'll end up being mm -hmm. because there won't be enough money to be able to pay out because of particular decisions along the way. There's nothing and wrong the with social security in and of itself. Who wants old people that don't have a lot of retirement money? Fucked. I don't, but the worst they part are about it be. is we are never going to see it. No, no, we're here to bolster the system until it eventually collapses. And the people that are overseeing its downfall right now are waiting to be <laughs> in the grave. Ow, fuck, Bless I you. bit the shit out of my tongue. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Ow. Ow. But yeah, no, we'll never see a dime from Social Security. Never. Well, maybe you won't. I'm fucking 83. I'm already seeing it. Nah, it's fair <laughs> enough, yeah. If you're 83, pay for the rest of these fucking evolutions, because <laughs> I, I really want to... I'm, you have one more. Drunkle has an adorable one. Pa, I'm on a fixed yours. income. I... <laughs> and I have three more, and they just get progressively fucking cooler. And much like an actual old man, I can't get my medication either. Would you fucking oh, believe that they still Foster don't have it? sitting at such low HP. Look at that little guy. Look at that little fella over there, 15,000 HP. That's an overthrow and a half if I've ever seen one. That's 11, the nicest 000. way I ever heard, you know, who that guy right now. Well done. Uh, drag queen... Shangela? Well, yeah, I suppose, yeah. Shangela? Sam said, well, okay. those are some new evolutions. Yeah, where have you been? Drunkle was already the cutest lambs. Polly was already the cutest daughter, and he has one more. Drunkle has one more, and I have a few more. Shangela? Look how adorably Shangela. upset he is. He's so, he's so perturbed. Mm -hmm. Like It looks like there's a fucking hair in his whiskey. He's, he's just unhappy. Dude, this is what happens with me. You know, I start telling, like IRL anyway, I start telling people what's wrong with social security or gun control initiatives and stuff. And they're just like, oh my God, you're so adorable. The more angry I get, it's a, it's a curse. Uh, anyway, they were arrested with multiple uh, accusations of sexual assault. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, <clears throat> that's another thing that is not happening. I didn't take you know any what? of that money, but they still haven't given me my 2023 tax returns. Hopefully I get it for this year, right? <laughs> you ain't getting that shit, man. Mm -mm. So th no. this, this person's a predator? Is that what, what I was... Well, they oh, were invited to the White House by Kamala Harris and then arrested a few months later. Why wouldn't you want people like this reading to your kids, you fucking homophobe? Or handling atomic waste for the government. Well, even the Rolling Stone had to cover it. Actor and drag star Shangela accused of multiple sexual assaults on RuPaul's drag race. On RuPaul's what? They were on RuPaul's drag race. Oh, oh, oh. So on the show, this person was. That's how I read a it. Acting untoward. That's what I. Okay. Doing that thing where you grab your collar. Mm -hmm. Let out a little steam. Yeah, not happening. Just like this. This isn't happening either. Trans teen pleads guilty to murder Ash Cooper, previously Josh. What? Look at the hair. Green and black. Like, uh. Green. Uh, Where the fuck do you see Mick, green? Mick, uh, uh, seasonal depression roots green. There, what's her name? Um. The. The product person whose brother produces for. What the fuck's her I name? I just want to know where you see green at. Oh, he's a very faded guy, I think. Oh, okay, so it's not... I, guess, yeah. I, I, I thought... That's why I assumed that it was, like, just, like, Roots McSeasonal Depression there, that it, it had grown way the fuck out and faded off, but I guess it's blonde and it never was green? I, I feel like we're having another one of those white and gold or blue and black dress moments. Oh, I thought you were about to say another one of those conversations is way the fuck off topic, but uh, yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Well, I mean, we are currently there right now. <laughs> like, we are there. Anyway, they... They pled, mur <laughs> pled guilty to murder of a 12-year-old girl. Billie Eilish. Thank you, Carol Soldier. See? 12-year-old girl? 12-year-old girl. What a fucking monster. How the fuck do you gauge your ears that fucking open by the time you're 12? You had to start when you were, like, 10. They're not 12. 
Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the question now is, uh, you know, what, well? what, what prison is this motherfucker going to? Is it going to be a man's prison or a woman's prison? That is a very good question. Whichever one is easier for them to do their time at. So women's prison. Just like this isn't happening. Oh, and I'll, I'll, damn it, I'll, Sin. Can we go one week? No, just like you have to I bring up like, Taylor Swift, I have to bring up Mulvaney. I'm going to leave this here for a moment so you guys can guess what's happening no, here, don't. but then I'm going to blow are, it off screen. Those syringes and... You went to the syringe, I went to the... It must be cold in there. What? A little, we, we're looking at oh, this dude's tits, man. We're 25 away from a horse cock. I just oh, wait, this person's... Uh, are they doing their um, HRT? Like... <laughs> online oh, that sounds like copyright yeah no they're uploading videos of them doing their hrt onto tiktok where we were promised that this wasn't happening we were promised this wasn't happening in Why? front of the mirror look at that look at the pimple too. like are you fucking taking crank and hrt you gotta pick a lane well come on when you're as rail skinny as this person you gotta make sure you don't hit your pelvis if you're injecting your ass <laughs> Dude, oh, have you ever had a needle hit a bone? Oh. I well, have l- hit least... bones with needles, but uh, what up, Doc? I, I know how it is. It's, you know, sometimes you're in a rush, you know? Come on. At least Dylan is actually... I can uh, hear you hormones. rubbing your face. <laughs> I, I'm rubbing my eyes so fucking hard right now. <laughs> At least Dylan is actually um, you know, on Bring hormones fields. and is, is actually Goalies transitioning fields. as opposed to the whole thing of, you know, Dave 365 as dressing as a girl. But no. also um, the whole gimmick. I mean, I would not put it past Dylan Mulvaney. That is just a saline solution. Yeah, it's yeah. But look at this. It just upload the whole thing to TikTok. I have 16 screws in my bones. Field I've hockey. Had, That's what I was trying to think of. It's a field hockey skirt. I've had a uh, a needle hit a bone once, and I will not. It... Fostonia refilling his Stream Boss HP. And look at that. 45... I, that is insane. That is a John Wick to take out Fostonia. I don't think I've ever seen it poised that well before. He said, my duty for an upgrade. I'm going to give myself the upgrade because I have the extra one here. So, mm-hmm. okay, we go away from that. That's Bang. quite the hit you're going to take to make yourself look cooler. I, I mean, look how cool that looks, though. Oh, my God, it paused. Look it looks that. very cool. And then it only gets cooler from there. Oh, he he's um, soliloquying, Drunkle. Sub- soliloquy? Soliloquizing? That sounds better than what I said. It does, doesn't it? I don't think it's a word, though. What do you have in your... Oh, it's a mic. Okay. So what, do you, what do you have in your hand? Robot dick. I like the, I like the, the, the coloring. Yeah, so do it, I, actually. Isn't Classy. it pretty good? Yeah, yeah. it really is. Wait till you see what's next. I am so happy with how these fucking... Oh, 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 cancel. What the fuck is that? I am so happy with how these turned out. And I used the same thing for all of them. And they turned out so fucking perfectly. Now anyway. I understand why Far hates AI art. I was so close to asking, so who's your artist? Who'd you get to do this? And you're uh, like, AI. oh, I use this website. <laughs> now I understand why Far hates it. I mean, but I was kind of got it. Now it I comes feel out like, you know. so well. I I understand that it is now a. Oh, hold on. What? Holding on. Why is this not working like it should? What is happening? Oh my god! Like ten. Th- okay, there we go. That is a horse cock. Now, just give me one second. Nope. Let me pull that up. Uh huh. I put it. What donation that happened? It's that one. That that. Is it this one? I don't have Viper's avatar up, so hold on while I get that. There we go, okay. Because there is no cock like horse cock. Send your asshole into shock. You need horse cock, of course, cock. Grab the loop and slam the day away. Well, as I take more cock, horse cock. 
shut the door and turn the lock is your cock a horse cock. You will never hear me saying nay. Fantastic. Mm-mm-mm. I'm just going to leave her there. Viper can stay in the corner. I think that's all right. All right but yeah, that's Fucking not happening. Manny, man. I, people say, you know, where's your humanity? Where's your morality? I actually got asked that in that way, in that order. We're talking about trans people. I'm like, I have plenty of humanity, morality, and empathy for trans people. And none of them are Dylan Mulvaney. They're not on the public stage. They're dealing with their gender dysphoria. They're trying to live life. That's what they're doing. They're not out there shooting up banks because of their discontentedness within their gender. Like some people would claim is actually a thing. You know what I mean? I, it's like, well, why don't you feel bad for immigrants? Uh, it's not where Ammo's my sympathy Ammo's a fucking goes. liar. Don't believe anything she says. Ammo's a fucking liar. Who is? Ammo in the chat. She's a dirty liar. Uh-huh. Like, well, why don't you care about uh, immigrants? I care about the Hispanics that are have green cards or are American citizens and have been and their parents were and their grandparents were because it's only 40% of them and they get asked all the time if they have their papers. And it's insulting and it's bullshit. How many times they probably get offered jobs? Like, do you need somewhere to stay? It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I own my own company. My grandparents were citizens. Fuck you. That's where my sympathy is. Papers, please. Mm. Papers, please. That's fucking insulting. No, Ammo's a dirty liar. She's a dirty fucking liar. Don't believe anything she says. Like, she's been lying about her birthday for, like, six months, and she gets constant happy birthdays from the chat, and it's never her fucking birthday. What, does she think she's me with a birthday every day? Fuck off. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> yeah, no. She... I, I, I just told Chad I was 83 or 82 years old, man. I didn't realize you had such a hard time with it. I guess I won't no, say I don't have a hard time with it. I have a hard time with people stealing my gimmick. Oh. <laughs> uh... Gimmick theft is not a lot here. Remember, remember that Seinfeld struggle where um, the dentist, future meth maker, uh, Brian converted Kirsten? to Judaism, and Jerry was convinced it was just so he could tell Jew jokes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The the he was a dentist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there was, was the whole was his dentist. anti-dentite. <laughs> yeah, that was the anti-dentite. Yeah. The word is plagiarism. Said no, it's gimmick infringement, and I won't hear any more of it. The back and forth he has with the priest is like fucking one of the high points of the show in comedy. He's, he's, he's like, I think he, he's saying this offends you as a Jewish person. No, it offends me as a comedian. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Do, you know what I watched uh, over two days? <laughs> Tucker is now just on Twitch. It just has to exist on Twitch. It, it cannot stay up on YouTube for whatever reason. <clears throat> they take the stream down <clears throat> midway for policy violations. So it's just over on Twitch. I watched the Chris Cuomo Tucker Carlson interview. Dude, it is one of the best interviews I have seen in a long time. In what sense? It it was just it felt like a real conversation. Like it felt like a couple of guys hanging out, having drinks, going back and forth. But like they were like barbing each other when it was appropriate but it felt like a real talk like at the end of it like that is a lot more than I expected from Cuomo it, it is really worth the watch. it's like two hours but it is super worth the watch that's a lot of time to commit to Cuomo man you, it's, it's very good it, it is very good what's it double speed then it's only, only an hour you know, somebody said something the other day that got me thinking that I had never considered before. They, they were talking about, uh, I've heard people say, I hate music and podcasts, just ambient background music. I hate it. I hate it. I'm like, why would you feel so strongly about something? Because they listen to it at double speed and it sounds retarded. <laughs> what, it sounds to like they're listening soft? to somebody like do a podcast over yakety sags and it drives them nuts. I never yeah, fucking clued into that. Speed. Listen to it at um, half speed, really get your money's worth, you know? Miss Sin just sent this over. New, in a recent series of posts on TikTok, an individual who identifies as a migrant has been advocating for the highly controversial approach to immigration and housing. 
take what's not theirs. This person is encouraging followers to undertake unauthorized border crossings and subsequently, uh, sorry, I lost my place. Uh, subsequently occupy uninhabited land or properties describing the act as land invasion, also known as squatting. Ya que me he buscado unos códigos. That's not Spanish. What the fuck is he speaking? I have no idea. Uh, gee, okay, yeah, that's not happening. This, this isn't happening. It's not happening. No, no, it's not. It's not. You want to see some more absolutely not happening? Besides you guys not getting your final upgrades? Mm. COVID vaccines can cut post-COVID infection, heart failure, and blood clot risk. And leave your breath minty fresh. What the fuck? <laughs> It's just, it's more not happening. Hey, the shot, it's actually really good for your heart, guys. <laughs> oh, no. I did Johnson & Johnson once. I, And that was because I had to. And I still feel stupid. Well, you haven't clotted up yet, so you're probably good. Well, I, you know, clean living in a pure heart. That's how I do it. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> Is that what's happening? Not at all. But grace of God, basically nothing but. So, yeah. hey. Fair enough. It's like this isn't happening. The best rewards for your credit cards to combat inflation blues. Spend oh more money on your credit cards, but you get a 3% reward on some restaurants that you can't even afford to go out to eat to. That, that's, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a very solid point. Um, it's just not where my mind went right away. Well, like New York Post and like, you know, regular where news. Where are we, is John like, boy? If I had to guess, I'd say communist China. Are we gonna die here? Darn fucking tootin'. Like I was getting genuinely worried, but it's Alan for five dollars, he says, uncle. Alan. Alan, dude, where you been, man? We were worried sick. Using like credit card rewards and points and whatnot to battle inflation, it has the kind of slight smell of a victory garden about it. Does that make sense? Uh, it's a victory garden. No. You, the Brit, really? Fuck, you used them to great effect. Your, your countrymen did in World War II. Uh, you, you plant, I want, I want you, you, you yeah. plant food because Hell, food I don't is hard give a to fuck cry. about no witnesses. 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 <laughs> Instead of, yeah, instead of buying up all the food, contribute, don't use aluminum, no unnecessary travel, tell you be a patriot during wartime, etc. Right? A victory garden. Uh oh, yeah, but that, yeah, that's 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 a war esque name, but it's, it's just growing vegetables, isn't it? Well, you're trying to contribute. Not everyone can be uh Rosie the Riveter or uh, uh pilot, you know. So, yeah. yeah, you get three percent cash back at a twenty nine point nine percent interest rate. Thank you, Capital One. Right. Well, yeah, Capital One, that was the... Fuck, they send credit cards to people's dogs and goldfish and shit. I mean, that should tell you enough to avoid I, it. I have a Capital One card that I've had yeah. since I was 18. Be quiet! Shut up! Okay. Be quiet! <laughs> I've had it since I was 18. And you know what? Being honest, they've served me well. They've dropped my interest rate. It's manageable. I owe... That's the one I had to take a cash advance out on after the Luna gave me the five grand to help pay for mom's funeral. I had to take three grand cash. Advance. I'm going to be paying that till I'm like 40. Right. But they've always been fine to me. So I can't really shit talk them too much. They, they pulled me out of a tough spot when I was in it. Well, I, so I had a capital one card. I used it as a credit building tool when my credit was yeah. not bad, but it was yeah, just yeah. kind of like leveled out. Yeah. So, you know, drunk, you know what I'm talking about? If you, if you can handle it, you know, you're not the kind of person who's just going to go take, out the limit to go buy meth or whatever the yeah, fuck well that's the thing is people use credit cards and it's they don't see it as money leaving their pocket that's the my, point my credit cards are like emergency use only <laughs> well i mean you, but that's that's what polly was saying you can build up your credit rating by like if you pay your rent on a credit card but then pay it off immediately uh, you have to pay it off instantly yeah but I yeah, mean, but the idea is to fucking uh, awesome credit rating. Where are we, John you, Boy? If I had to guess, I'd say communist China. Are we gonna die here? <laughs> Darn fucking tootin'. Appropriate <laughs> now, fuck. 
is not Alan for five dollars, says Uncle. Not uh, that one. Mysterious stranger. A stranger <laughs> who knocks. Somebody other than Alan. <laughs> and yeah, over anyone. here, Alan, thank you for the five dollars. He doesn't give a fuck about no witnesses. So and he simply says, Polly. Mm, Alan. And then Alan for five to me, says Sin. Alan. How you doing, sir? Well, I, I just got $5 from everyone because I got Alan and not Alan. So that's that's all bases covered, isn't it? That's everyone. There's only two types of person. There's Alan and there's everyone else. Well, well you got Chet... treated by Capital One better than I did, man. I tried to get the interest rate lowered because I got... Mine was a secured credit card. It's like, I need to build my credit. Okay, well, I've got this here $300 and I used that to secure the Capital One card. So it wasn't a credit card at all. They gave me a limit of $300 because I gave them $300. Oh, they, they debited you. Yeah. I, I, or as they call it, a secured credit card. Mm -hmm. And it's, like I said, I was using it as a credit building tool and it worked. You should have seen how long it took me to get my 300 bucks back from after I canceled the card and everything. I tried to get the interest rate lower, nothing doing. And then I canceled the card and then, you know, weekly phone calls and email campaigns for like a fucking year till they sent me a check. I... I use my credit very sparingly. Mm, same here. And I, I feel like that served me well because even after everything that happened, I've always had a decent credit score, but where I was at May of last year is the most I have ever had in debt. So I'm, I'm, put, I'm, I'm putting it back i still where own. are we john boy if i had to guess i'd say communist china are we gonna die here darn fucking tootin i still owe quite a bit but it's definitely going down and it, that that is reflecting on the credit score so i'm happy with that so you do what you can do but it was oh sorry no please it was walter white for five dollars who said and in all caps says i am the one who knocks that was a cool fucking scene thank you uh walter white or brian cranston the jewish dentist they chad has worked themselves in an interesting position because we are one big wick or mailman's big wick away from having all of the upgrades across the board my two and your two so I, I think that's very interesting. One big wick energy away from having everything. See, Platty but, gets it. And Andrew Thorsten gets the fundamental reality of credit in general that most people won't their entire life. To be credible, you have to be in debt. Mm -hmm. And people think of that as a paradox. And it's like, it's not. Mm -hmm. What do you think credible means? Have the ability to pay back debt. If you don't have debt and you aren't paying it, how would they know you're credible? And I'm not trying to talk down to people. It's just, that's why a credit building tool, like Shelly just mentioned, that's why it works. Carry a debt. They want always you to pay it on time. There you go. About 30% usage at all times between like 28 and 32. They want you to be in there on time payments every time, at least the minimum. If you can more, that's better, but 30% usage always. That's the sweet spot. Uh, Americans credit card fees have increased 50% since Biden since was when? elected. Since Biden was elected. In the past three years, 50% increase on credit card fees. I find that. Okay, I'm not saying anyone's lying here, but I find that a little hard to believe. Why aren't people fucking losing their minds and why is only OAN talking about it? Because it's not happening. Oh, right. Right. It, it's a, this isn't happening. What are you talking about? This is perfectly fine. This is totally normal. They got to be leveling the fucking increased because mine haven't gone up and I'm sure a bunch of others haven't either. They're leveling it at the people that can't afford it the most. Well, just like this isn't happening. Well, for example, you know, how many black communities are in a situation where they they come from a circumstance where they're in difficult, they have difficulty, where the families are in real trouble, where you have people who, you know, how many, even, even those families that are really poor don't have any books in the house. The kids don't hear a whole lot of conversation. 
Biden is insinuating black families don't have books. <laughs> ah, right, right. <laughs> I mean, one of the For beautiful no things about reason. The, yeah, I mean, you don't need a fucking newest generation iPad to read, Joe. Books are actually really cheap, and lots of people and have them. Real easy to get a hold of, too. But that's that's not happening. That doesn't happen. Just like this most certainly doesn't happen. The illegals are not rushing the border and National Guard. <laughs> this oh, isn't don't. happening at all. Oh, they don't. Oh, yeah. Fix bayonets, boys. Run through two or three of them. The rest will get the idea. And they just move out of the way. I don't Look see a at all of those woman. women and children. I, not a single fucking female in this crowd. Those poor war a refugees. Of, far a couple of rounds into the air. I think shit will calm down quite quickly. I wouldn't even waste. <laughs> I wouldn't even waste the shot. Honestly. Are you saying you pump hot lead into someone rather than shoot in the air? Yeah. Okay. They're like 20 cents around, man. That's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> we don't care about witnesses here. It gives a fuck. I did. But <laughs> Jesus Sinatra's put a value on a human life, right? There. An actual monetary value. <laughs> just and a few it's specific under 20 ones. cents. <laughs> just a few specific. It, but see, the thing is, is I, I, I wouldn't care. You, you are making the decision to put you don't know if this guy here on the left is going to just pop a shot out you don't know that i don't know that this video could have ended with him just 30 rounds into the crowd no russian it could have ended like that it's a national border of the world's only superpower if at any other time than right now if this had happened it could have gone real ugly real fast. Mm, mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I watched that with no tension. Anger, yeah. Apprehension, definitely. But like tension, like, oh my God, one of those guys, man, I hope they don't, um, you know, I hope they keep their head about them and <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I, I, there was no concern on my mm-hmm. part that anything bad was going to happen to any of those people. It's my human right to come into your country because I said mm-hmm. so. Have an something. argument with your girlfriend, go home and take it out on your wife. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> Woodrow Wilson sent the military to Mexico for less for less than 1916. So we're about in the same Be price quiet. range. Shut up! Be quiet! I wish we'd close the border and pop it. Yeah? True that. True that shit. Uh, thank you, Valine and Looney Lenny. Much appreciated. If you ever want... I should publish an edition. Um, words of wisdom from John Gotti. They kept catching him. Like I said, every thing tapped be it the phone and um, the social club uh, used or the bergen hunt the and fish Long club Long. yeah um then boss of the gambino crime family so he taps everywhere and with all the people he associated with so anyway you'd catch them they would record him saying things were fucking hilarious and he, he's <laughs> think about the times like they don't have the time to come after us john you're paranoid he goes paranoid paranoid they sent an entire army down Nicaragua just to get one little spick, and you think they're worried about our ass? <laughs> just because you're Noriega. paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. He's talking about Noriega. They sent oh, an shit, entire dude, army why just did you to fucking, get you. Oh, you scumbag. What? You know what? It happened like 40 years ago. End I don't quote. think anyone spoiled it. Quote, end quote. End quote. Yeah. <laughs> Come on your ass, man. Quote, end quote. Jesus Christ, you dirty racist. That, that's supposed to be a sonat. You're supposed to be anti uh, the other ones. <laughs> and span. What's the problem? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shut up, Windows. You, you're not buying that? Right. No, I'm I'm not buying it. We have one new donation left at 1350. You guys have unlocked the rest. We are a big wick away from all the upgrades. Make sure the like is smashed. Make sure you're showing these guys some love, too. They deserve it. Let's keep it moving. And 
Elon fucking Musk accruing 58.6 million views tweeted this video out. God damn it, Twitter. <laughs> Why are you fucking with me? Democrat Open Borders plan to entrench single party rule, explained in under two minutes. One, flood the country with untold millions of illegals by land, sea, and air from all over the world. Enough to eclipse the populations of 36 individual U.S. states so far. Two, prioritize the needs of these... I, I am still flabbergasted that Elon Musk tweeted this video out. Not like he retweeted it. He tweeted this video... Like, well, I mean, this, this, let's see how much truth there is to, to what's being explained here first, you know? Well, so far, everything is accurate. Pretty spot on, right? Yeah. 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 Millions of non-citizens over the needs of the American citizen. True. With free flights, buses, hotels, meals, and phones. True. Uh -huh. Ensuring their loyalty to the political party that imported them. Three, keep them in the country at all costs. Even when they commit violent crime like murder and rape. I just, just the one bell will be fine. Just the one. Well, I think I just broke this one. It's so broken it. <laughs> I think I have. This is my longest serving bell. It better not be broken. Okay. It's like dry firing, okay? Just... Eventually you'll break the mechanism, but goddamn, can that man hit a bell? <laughs> Describe the criminals as opposed to the criminals themselves. Slander critics as racist. Four, ensure their privileges are made irrevocable with city and state sanctuary laws that act as population magnets. Codify permanent status and ensure non cooperation with ICE. Five, Count the non-citizens in the census that will determine congressional apportionment in the House of Representatives. As Ooh. of now, that would equal 13 extra congressional districts. A tremendous amount of electoral power. 6. Wage a massive, heavily funded lawfare campaign to change state voting laws that legalize mass mail-in ballots. No signature verification and no proof of citizenship required. I'm like Hector Salamanca over here. <laughs> yeah, man. Making it nearly impossible to prove voter fraud. Seven, lock in the permanent voting majority with campaign promises of lavish benefits and permanent privileges, enshrining generational fealty to the Democrat Party. Eight, win elections. Nine, entrenched single party rule has been achieved. The best part? Your tax dollars are paying for it. Well, no lies detected. Not a single fucking one. Now, <clears throat> Trunkle. You're a trained actor, a thespian. I would Why'd love. Say it like that? What? Why'd you say it like that? You know why you said it like that? I, I didn't say it like nothing. Hear me out. Fuck. Um, thespian. I, 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 I wish I was that guy. I wish I was the tension hook reader. That when they needed to put someone's balls at ice, they called me. One. Set forth a program to blah, blah, blah. I mean, they they went to that guy on purpose. That wasn't somebody's cousin. They they hired the tension hook reader. What a job, man! Uh, last Royal Raven. I'll save that for uh, one of the palate cleansers we got. But because I do, I have good palate cleansers. <laughs> to, to, to cleanse that, okay. Steve, Dave, thanks is for the a lesbian. Yes, yes. Um, no, vegetarian, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Steve Dave, hypothetically, if the border crisis continues, what would a President Dubenstein do to counter the information in Elon's video? Hold on. So if, if I were the hypothetical target of his video, the Democrat Party, what would I do to counter the information? Is that what's being asked? I, I think so. And I think the only response you have to something like that is to go through the DOJ make it illegal for him to own Twitter get him removed that's the only thing because this is his platform and that's where he's posting this information okay that you he, agreed with something that I wasn't 
So, here are the words. Hypothetically, if the border crisis continues, what would uh, I as president do to counter the information in Elon's video? Like meaning, okay, let's, we're assuming the video, uh, okay, wait, I get it. Not counter the information, but counter the things that are going on as fact in, that are oh. described in the video. Okay, I get it. I get it. The, the the only thing you can do is silence it. That's it. Yeah, if you're from the side of the Democrats, um, your path forward is pretty obvious. Look at the, I just described it myself as the tension hook guy. Listen to the sounds, look at the um, VHS um, digital video banding effect. It's all to, and the, the fast paced, dum, 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 light music. It's fear it, porny it, for sure, sure, but it's not yeah. wrong. It doesn't matter. I mean, it just from their perspective, you know, Let's it's like, this is, the this is clearly notes. conspiracy theory shit. It's highly produced. Look at the top comment, the top community note. This is schizo posting. None of this is real. That's the top community. That is the post? top community, uh, community note post. It says this is schizo. I'm sharing the screen. Yeah, this is schizo. Oh, I, I can see the screen. Just those letters are some small brother. Ah, uh, yeah. Let me, I'm on a 1440p. This is schizo. Posting. I ain't got that 1440 money. All right. I, this is schizo cathode posting. ray tubes and Jesus rabbit ears. Christ. No, it ain't. It, it ain't schizo. Uh, single party rule. No, but um, you know. John Wick, we need you now more than ever. This I've, makes I've, multiple I've, false claims. Illegal immigrants do not eclipse citizens' populations in any state. They didn't. You misunderstood the statement. It was in total the population sum of at least, was it 38 or 32 36. states? Yeah, if you're, yeah, if, and I know which states number, I would pick first. It would be like Rhode Island and fucking Delaware and whatever. Yeah, yeah you Ohio know. has like 11 million people. That's the number they claim, even though like 20 million have come in, in the past year. They make up 24% of California, 16 in Texas, and 6 in Florida. Okay, hold on. Population of Florida. All right. So 6% of 21 million, 1.26 million. That's how many people this person is claiming are illegal. 1.26 million illegals. It's important country. to remember that like eclipsing is, I mean, you said it's like, it's fear porn. Yeah. They, no one in any voting situation needs to have the majority. You just need to have the 10% swing vote because you're going to have a certain amount that are voting for you already. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's how you win elections is not by having everyone vote for you, but having the critical 10, 15% that are swing voters in the middle, um, this on your person, side, in your pocket, beholden to you, whatever way you want to put it. This person did the meme. This is actually not happening. I, you know what? I having done there's no evidence for, that immigrants are being given illegal f iPhones and restaurant quality meals and hotel rooms. No, I reject that statement and I find it fucking offensive, by the way. Restaurant quality, my ass. Have you been McDonald's to a restaurant a lady? The restaurant. quality yeah. is terrible. <laughs> what do you I don't understand how that's some standard that people still use. Oh, old restaurant quality ingredients. The fuck? You mean some fucking underpaid asshole rubbed his butt on it? I did. Fostonia at 2800 HP. Never mind. Last Royal Raven is stream boss. My bad. With 5700. You're out, Fostonia. Fuck off, loser. <laughs> uh, but at, anyway, at, while this is schizo posting and not happening, 200,000 illegal immigrants were had their deportation cases tossed out because somebody messed up paperwork. Whoopsie poopsie. Two hundred thousand cases dropped like that. What? Because the Biden administration just didn't file the paperwork. I, I'm actually having difficulty with that headline. Serious concerns. All like, I can what, think what, of is on whose part? Who said that? What? The call all, confused me. All I can think of is uh, actor acting man. Uh, yeah, I know who you mean. The guy in the, the Crucible. Daniel Day Lewis. Played Lincoln. Yeah. <laughs> thank oh, you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> thank you, Polly. No, I did actor acting man. That's exactly what I call him too. Yeah, it's, just, it's, <laughs> it's 
him in Gangs of New There's York. There's no scenery he hasn't chewed. It's him in Gangs of New York with the whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Oops. All shoulders, big shrug. Oops. Well, they're I currently embroiled it. in, you know, lawfare and. The DOJ is busy right now, Sam. They can't afford to be enforcing the law as you would see fit. Well, how they would enforce it on us. Yeah. We, By the we way, the, to, an, to answer the question, it's like, uh, how would I deal with the situation? Federal funding is the number one way to do it. Um, you don't control the purse strings. <laughs> there he is. The same the day. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's Jason Bourne. <laughs> I haven't seen that in so long. Ooh. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering. Shotgun spree. Kill him in Jaro. Kill Tastrophic. Kill Pocalypse. Open season. Killionaire. Killing Frenzy. Running Ryan. Buck Wild. Okay, so we had two people right there. I gotta say, at... Buck Wild undersells it at the end. Maybe. We had two people right picky. there try to take String Boss. At the same... Th both those came in at the same time i don't know who is going to come out on top mailman says a classic dude you killed can we just give a round of applause for mailman in the chat for making that oh hell yeah and the the, the, the big editing, one the man. 9001 yeah. my favorite donation that exists quality it, well, mailman made both of those but the 9001 is just the best but i don't know who came out on top but that is all of the upgrades Looks like Dwayne. Dwayne came out on well, top. Listen, to this guy drunkle. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. People are throwing money at me. Oh, what was me? Let me give it a refresh. <laughs> Dwayne came out on top. Look, goddamn, dude. Uh, not the hero we need, but the one we deserve. <laughs> and Fostonia said, "So fuck on. So fuck off." You say, "Game on, motherfuckers." There it is. And that is the rest of the upgrades. So let me give, I'll give myself the one first so you can see what came next. Just your average Super Saiyan Frank Sinatra. You know, nothing you've never seen before. Hold on. Let me uh, enliven the screen here. And then a furious otter. Look at that. Look at how angry he is. <laughs> Do we, is it Deweese? I'm sorry. Your, your stream boss anyway. And are you ready, Drunkle? For he yours? looks like Curious George on meth. Look at little Turnip. Little Turnip with a, some fur. <laughs> Look at him. He's got a little mustache. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Look nice. At that turnip. It's got a Lego esque thing to it. I can do it. It's, it's so perfect. Yeah. The cutest Turnip. And then for me, from it like it, it's 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 super saiyan frank sinatra it's fantastic it's perfect because of the bow tie the the bow tie makes it right but it doesn't just stop there i go to super saiyan fucking blue how good is that the suit everything. that is nice perfect Perfection. i've never uh been able to pull that off the uh the three piece matching the uh no. You, you, you'll get a kick out of this, okay? Because you're a bigger dude, right? Um, I'm sitting there with one of my... What's that? What's that supposed to mean? You hear me out and you'll know what exact, you'll know what I mean. I mean, you've seen me. I'm, I'm close you to are, my body mass index number, you know? Yeah, you're, uh, you're, a, you're a, a svelte gentleman. A what? Svelte. Don't make me sound gangly. I ain't gangly. I'm 6'2", 205. What's wrong with that? You're svelte. 
I don't even know what that means. What is that? You're, you're trim. <laughs> trim, okay. Um, you should go to the gym, is what it means. <laughs> well, that's exactly what my friend was getting at, because we're watching um, Batman v Superman. Uh, like, this was like back in the day when it, when it was first put out on Blu-ray, right? So we're, we're watching it to if it was as bad as we remember it was in the theater, that kind of thing. And I'm like, fuck, look at Batfleck, man. Look at, I love his Bruce Wayne getup. I wish I could do the vest. And my friend turns and looks at me and he gave me those eyes up and down and said, yeah, well, you gotta fill it out though. <laughs> I gave him a fucking look, man. Like it was just nice way to say, you know, you, you've got a, you know, concave chest or something, you know what I mean? You've got a bird chest. Yeah. It was about, I don't know, maybe five minutes later I said, I'm not skinny, you know? And as I, then I realized that I was like holding on to it a little bit. I, uh, I've, I've pulled off the three piece pretty successfully. I've only worn it to a funeral, but it looked good. <laughs> yeah. So, and that's what I mean. You're a bigger dude. So you can actually, you know, the three piece suit looks good. If you try, if you're, you know, like, let's say six, two, two or five or something proportional to that. And you try and wear a rim suit right now, you look gay because it'll look like you have skinny pants on. Tell me I'm wrong. I cannot. <laughs> It's the suit cuts. It's it's not you. It's uh, the fashion industry is run by women and gay men, and look what we got. Uh, Derek LaRue for $20 on the Super Chat. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Um, what size waist do you wear? I don't know. I have a belt. All right. <laughs> if it's fair enough. <laughs> Cause I mean, I am... honestly, I don't know. I'd have to go. Uh... I bet you you could tell me the size of your biceps. I am. You yeah. See, you can't right. You got one of them little, little flexible yellow tape measures, don't you? Don't you? Uh, well, Shelly has it. <laughs> <laughs> I just use it, but it's probably out of date. Last time I checked, I had like eighteen inch arms. But um, I I am five eleven, six foot, depending how I slept the night before. Uh, two fifty to two sixty, depending on the shit I took that day, and I wear a thirty six waist. So. Clothes for me are hard to find. <laughs> reverse triangular. That's a little firmer in the waist than I thought you'd be. Yeah, I, I am now a third because I had to go buy new pants today and I grabbed the 38 because that's what I'm used to wearing. And they were like falling off. I'm like, okay, fuck, I'll go size lower. And they fit perfectly. Like, okay, this is the, the pants fit. The quads, it's like I'm wearing skinny jeans and I wear an XL shirt around the 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 arms and the chest and the stomach or i'm sorry around the stomach but the chest and the arms it's like it's vacuum sealed to me well i don't understand so when your pants start getting loose right mm -hmm. why didn't you just go further notches on your belt i'm not even trying to be smart i needed just... lighter pants for a, a, a thing i'm doing and all i have are black pants and i wanted to get like a slate gray or something nice you're tired of the ball and chain pants? What do you mean? Lighter pants? I don't... All I have are black dress pants. And I wanted to get like a Oh, you mean lighter gray. color? I thought you were yeah. like, like, fuck, you really do need to go to the gym. Your pants weigh too much. Like, that's a problem. <laughs> no, all I have is black and I wanted like a slate gray or something like that. Gotcha. Right. This conversation is fucking riveting, by the way. <laughs> Did you see what edge, you look like, Drunkle? I'm on the edge uncle? of my seat. Edge of my seat. Have you seen what, what you look like? I have, yeah, I'm cute. I got a little mustache, yeah. The mustache is perfect. Okay, well, you're yeah, missing it, but there's, it, it, there's it. interesting things going on in chat. Big Joe wouldn't care if I were gay. Nobody would. People greatly misunderstand things. I mean, let's say uh, uh, a drunk were gay. He'd get some jokes thrown at him, and that's the end of it. I had one of my friends see, ask me about, like, about hate online, and I was like, there isn't any, like, not in the way that you mean. There's an incredible amount of black humor of the lowercase b variety. And Sansu's killing it with that. <laughs> I am gay, Polly, you see, because right, I am a woman a who is into women. Yeah. My heart would be broken, Molly. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, what, what if uh, no one would care if Polly was gay? Not even the men. Not even the gay men would care if Polly was gay. <laughs> no, that's it. But I'm not, and my heart is spoken for, so, you know. Yeah, no, good, good for you. Good for you. How about a charcoal brown sin? 
Speckle Brown. Uh, not Brad Brown suits. No, no, that's for middle-aged balding men. Some people may be able to do it. I've seen some dudes actually able to wear plaid and not look retarded, but I can't. I don't. Of course, I I dress as a a dandy every day. Really? Yeah, yeah. I got a cloak, top hat, cane. That is dandy. Hmm. Do you have one of them hats that go pop? Like, you know, they're flat and then oh, they're not. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll tell um, you what, mate, I am inundated with marriage proposals because of it. Oh, wow. Well, come on. You might as well just Hell, write a fuck about bachelor. The witness, this. <laughs> witness this. Witness this. That's pretty good. I Hell, like that one. You tell me what movie that's from, Sin? I assume it's something John Woo. Nice. Asian Scarface. It, it absolutely is. Um... See, it's funny you say that because the MC Ryman is named Scarface, but no, it's not Scarface. <laughs> it's uh, The Corrupter. The Corrupter. Good movie. Forgotten about movie. Mentrix, thanks for the five bucks. My mother said one man's trash is another man's treasure. Turns out I'm adopted. I did not see that coming. That was good. You did not I, see. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh. Somebody in chat said that they buy their suits through estate sales. Anything I've ever thought of buying through estate sales have been firearms. Maybe I've been slipping. Yeah, I I, I, but I'm I'm such an odd shape. I'm so top heavy. I feel like it'd be impossible to find a suit like that. Like I'd I'd have to know the person <laughs> before. Do you have any pictures of your grandpa alive? <laughs> Right, I'm out. <laughs> enjoy, uh, enjoy the rest of the show, gentlemen. Well, you're talking about uh, fashion and plaid. You only got a few articles left. Point, you have it? to leave right this second. Yeah, I the mean, bar. I've got a minute. A single minute. I've got a minute. Okay. Well, do you well, want I mean, to hear? I mean, that was 45 seconds. But... Do you want to hear America turning into Britain? Yeah. Justice Jackson? So my biggest concern is that your view has the First Amendment hamstringing the government in significant ways in the most important God, what, time What the periods. fuck are you doing, Twitter? Um, I mean, what would, what would you have the government do? I've heard you say How a do you write women so well? I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. And Justice Jackson has neither of those things. <laughs> no. Government can <laughs> nice post its timing. own speech, but in my hypothetical, um, you know, kids, this is not safe, don't do it, um, is not going to get it done. And so... I anyway, TLDR, uh, Supreme Court Justice Kuntanji Jackson is upset that she cannot limit free speech. Think about what she just, she yeah, just said there. Yeah. Like... They don't do this is not going to cut it. So you want to limit people that are saying things that are contrary to your own message. That's single voice messaging. We have a word for that. I'll let you guess what it is. When a few tall foreheads from the government figure out what the message is going to be and then everyone needs to stay on it and the power of the state stops people from varying from that. That's not good. Thank you Hall. very much for the 350. Wait, Drunkle, um, I have one thing I have to show you before you go. Okay, did you know the Marine right Corps still has a cloak as a uniform component? Really? Does it have a pocket for crayons? Actually, that is actually very, very cool. The Marine <laughs> Corps has a cloak. Because I'm still you fighting. You wouldn't get away with it here. You shouldn't get fashion. away with it at home. And he wants to run away. I'm going to have to run now. It's for Stonia for 25. Says, by the way, you look great as a Hispanic Welshman. It's the moustache, isn't it? It makes it. It, it. does. Oh, my parsnip. It, so I picked the uh, palate cleanser just for you. Okay. And I, I need to show you now. Go, 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 go. What the is that lava? Is that? This was in somebody's yard. I'm is glad that weird said fungus? Yard not butthole. Dude, just watch. Oh, God. One's it with fire. 
don't like it. That's yeah. what we're fighting for. That's, that's what we're fighting against. <laughs> that's what we're fighting against. Right. This... Have a good, have a, enjoy the rest of the show, guys. For Stonia, thank you very much, and we'll see you all Monday. Later. Later. Yeah, we only have like four left. Australian bees? Is that what's going on there? They I don't know. I cylindrical it. red I nest? It. it needs to go away. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. The, like Mentrix said that in chat, and I was like, yeah, I can believe The terminates it. are getting out of hand. Mm. But guys, we are, I know, this is, we're not quite there yet, but we're almost there. We're 146 away from a song, and I have a song picked already. It's a Rob song, and it's a fucking good one. If we get there. If not, then... We've crushed the goal, got the evolutions, etc. Rob, who? Uh, my buddy Rob, who did the, oh, okay. the songs. Uh, oh, okay. We have met the enemy, and he is us. Your salon is its own enemy. That's okay. how I read it. Y yeah, Trump is salon. Go. Salon is Trump. His name is Robert Paulson. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not happening. But while all this is not happening, what is our dear president up to? Will the president head to Wilmington regardless of whether the shutdown is going to be averted or not? So you hear us say this all the time. This is still the case with this situ this scenario that we're seeing, obviously, in, in Congress right now, is that the president is the president wherever he is, uh, and he can do his business wherever he is. I just don't have mm -hmm. a change in his, in his schedule. Anymore. He just won't. So he's going to Delaware for the weekend. He's taking the weekend off. No, Russia really about to is a mobile Ukraine. functionary. He can, can, yeah. And why do you dress and look like the authoritarian clue? I don't know, man. To me, she looks like a literal gaslight. <laughs> you never seen uh, um, Tron Legacy? She's no. dressed like Clue, the villain no. of that movie. Never seen it. No, you should check it out. It's good shit. It's good stuff. And this was just too funny to me. It's Sydney. Uh, that's her name. Sydney Sweeney. And then Tony okay. Soprano yelling, she's single-handedly destroying woke with her enormous mommy milkers. <laughs> In this house, Sydney Sweeney is a hero. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the second week in a row her tits have made the news. How did they? I don't remember <laughs> they, the first time. How did they make it this time? Who's Sydney Sweeney? She's just an actress. Okay. But the first time it was, uh, Salon wrote an article saying that Sydney Sweeney's boobs are not really that big. And it was a screenshot of a community post. And the <laughs> number one response was, yeah, they are. <laughs> wow. Salon really is their own enemy. Huh. I mean, how can you deny? Well, that. that's the level you've gotten to you're writing articles about it let me guess, she, she's conservative or something no she's just attractive oh bitch right fucking asshole am i still meant to create the perfect system exactly but that's yeah. it the 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 swarm of terminids was <coughs> supposed to Legend. be the palate cleanser thank you but that is it. We ended on Sydney. That was the boobs. palate cleanser. Yeah, that's cool. cold, man. It's it, it's supposed to be something for the palate. <laughs> that you know what you did. No, I ain't gonna explain. Her, her boobs are a much better palate cleanser than I the fucking than the fucking terrifying swarm of anti-democratic bugs. Well, uh, Gamer Valine, did you see the stuff going on in Russia? You haven't been watching the whole show, have you? I think she's got here like 20 minutes ago, man. Well, you done fucked up. I sensed a uh, lack of generalized fear coming from chat. That's how I knew she wasn't here. Yeah, because usually... Oh. <laughs> Pad, I, I had this. <laughs> Drunkle left, but I had that. I will save it for next week. It's pretty good. And uh, Platy's friend code. All right, very good. I know I, yeah, I mean, I successfully fear mongered well enough. <laughs> oh, do, do you think Russia is just going to go, yeah, fuck it, I don't believe you, and just nuke Ukraine? Uh, no. 
Probably not. No. But it's an interesting thought. <laughs> it is. But I mean, look how many um, people that have fallen out of favor have fallen out of windows. Hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Fuck, that was great. I got to just, it's not often I want to clap myself on the back, but I do right now. That was pretty good. That is back clappable. <laughs> But, well, I mean, right, that, guys. That, that's how it's going to get handled. It's like, we're going to destroy you. It's going to be with plutonium pellets and, you know, people meeting unfortunate accidents suddenly out of nowhere, all within the space of 72 hours. You know, yeah, that kind of terrible, not and if I can make another nuclear winter terrible. Breaking Bad reference, it's going to be like I when Walter White had all 10 of those people killed in the prison in like five minutes. Yeah. Uh, no daylight savings in Arizona. So when you start an hour earlier when I'm asleep, I have that job thing. Well, it still sounds like your responsibility, Feline. But no, yeah, we covered all that, like, toward the top of the show, if you want to go back and rewatch it. Uh, last we had was 60-ish dead and over 100 injured. And then Russia threatened to fuck Ukraine up. And they tried to make sure there were no injured, but, you know. Yeah, they, they really try to leave no injured behind <laughs> That video was It's tough bad, to make dude. jokes about that shit, man. That was dark. Fuck. That video was bad. But that is it for the show tonight. We went on a little long. Drunkle ran away because he's a bitch with his little sombrero on. But uh, Polly, are you doing a noir bar tonight? Damn toot and darn right. And furthermore, yes. Well, right. Very good. When and where is that going to be? Uh, it'll be at, uh, I was thinking about moving it up to 12, but. Then I realized half hour intro anyway, so why not? You know what? On purpose, because people don't get the notification unless you start playing the stream. You do it, right? Like you've got the little background playing and streaming. Don't you? For like five minutes, sometimes six. Five minutes, six. Oh, I, I personally don't understand. I think that people have uh, like big streamers and shit. They've got their shit up playing music and whatnot. So the chat can go there and the notifications go out for like 45 minutes and it is immediately clipped afterwards. I think I need to do what they're doing. I, I tried to some avoid interns. clipping uh, streams because it takes the chat away. Which is what started me uh, capturing chat for Noir Bar in the first place, actually. Ooh, I... I do that for the Sunday stream, and I used to do it on Tucker when we could have Tucker on YouTube, but uh, I do not have space on the screen for AAA to be captured. Yeah, well, you could always go the Razor Fist route. I don't know if you've seen his chat. It's like, why do you bother? It's, it's so small. I, I, it's pixels. I, I don't mm. quite get it. Well, we're going to be doing the uh, room behind the grandfather clock tonight, which doesn't actually have a separate frame for chat capture. So it's just sort of like floating there in space. Got to use your imaginations, but it's a cool room. So, you know, it's worth it. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we're going to be over there at 1230 uh, a.m. Eastern or uh, 1230 p.m. on Christmas Island. And I think this is. This is a daily savings time in Great Britain, isn't it? Uh, Yeah, they're still uh, an hour behind. Fuck. So I don't know what time it is for um, British folk. It would be 4.30. Unfortunately. 4.30? Okay. So 4.30 um, p.m. I must... No, a.m. 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 What am I talking about? 4.30 4 a.m. 12.30 Eastern. That calculate accordingly. Well, there We're going to be go. there. Yeah, yeah. Sam will be uh, there. Far will be there. And I don't get to talk to Far much because she's a working lady. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's always a good is. time. Yeah, well, she, people uh, wonder why I bust her ball oh, so much on club. Noir Bar. It's like, well, I don't get to talk to her for like a whole week. I, I'm pent up by the time she comes around. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a thing I have to show you. My brother sent this to me. Oh. Hey, yo, invest in stocks, gamers. All right, now just, just wait for my fucking time. E to the dubs is Polly Dub. Bitch, me. Let me have it. I'm just it. Why do you keep screaming, bro? Baby, it's a habit. Fistonia might have hit the very last time that donation is going to be hit for a good long time. If everything goes according to plan, I'll have a different one for next week. But we'll have to see. A different 25? Mm, yeah, absolutely. Another, a, a different Zanakin Skywalk with different edited animation and whatnot. Ooh. And so, yeah, I'm doing like 10 things at once because I don't understand time management very well when it comes to uh, non-contractual things. My contract, I got in order because there's like 
food and shelter riding on it. You know, you get it. Yeah, uh, that's understandable. <laughs> and, of course, legal responsibility, where if I fuck it up, yeah, they're going to be coming for me with big fines. Anyway, Fistonia, thank you very much for the $25. That will help with the aforementioned food and shelter. Um, sending the otter some last minute no homo love. But it's greatly appreciated. And if even if it were homo, no one would care, man. We, we, we covered that base tonight, too. Fuck, Fistonia's top drawer, man. Top drawer. Oh, for sure. Great guy. Um, ah, uh, fuck. I'm hoping I can find this picture to send to you. Well, it doesn't make any bearing on the show. But guys, no that is Goku it. I... Banger. No, it, it, it'll, be st it'll still be a club banger. Because that track by Zanka Skywalk is called Club Banger. That's where I got the name Goku Banger from. But it's still going to be along the same lines. But it's going to be the same but different. There we go. Mm -hmm. People don't think it'll be like it does, but it do. It do I indeed. I forget how that saying goes, but yeah. People don't think it'd be like that, but it do. Nice. There it is. Okay. But guys, that is it. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Thank you for spending your evening with us. I have a video going up on the Sin and Sass channel. Go ahead and check that out. Brand new video. And we will see you all Monday at our normal time, which Drunkle is not here to tell us. So it doesn't matter. Good night, everybody. Have a good night, all. <laughs>